Hey, what's happening guys and gals? Welcome back to Jurassic World Lego Edition for the Nintendo Switch. I want to say Definitive Edition, but uh, this is the recent port that'll be coming out on the Switch uh, the 17th, I believe. And this game is provided to us by our friends over at Warner Brothers Games, and they're the ones who gave us early access. So today we're starting Jurassic Park 3, and just a reminder that tomorrow, since we are doing something WB related, there will be a DC Universe stream. Uh, we'll be continuing Yay! Amber's story. We tend to do that over the weekend. That way we can play with you guys. And I am happy to announce that more Mario Maker streams will be happening on Sundays from now on. So you can torture me on Sunday. So enjoy that. But anyway, it's time for us to return to Jurassic Park. Again. This is the third what? game. Uh, based on the third movie, where Alan Grant returns to Jurassic Park with some incentive. He doesn't go there um, for any other reason other than he gets money. Which they're going to really make fun of in this Lego thing. Alright. Oh, and... Yeah. We, we have some people going through some very difficult things. Um... Uh, we had somebody in our, well, one of our, uh, viewers, David, who's, well, I don't know if I should, whose dog passed away, and then mm. Cammy's going through some really hard stuff, too, yep. so. We have both, uh, Cammy and, uh, David on a prayer list, so. Yeah, we will be keeping you guys in our thoughts and prayers, and I will be putting you guys on a prayer list, too, because, for other people to pray for you guys, because I'm really, s yeah. Look, it even says Brachiosaurus. Oh, wait, uh, it's Bron it was Brontosaurus. Then it became Brachio. Ah, whatever. Okay, so, Ian, it's time to say goodbye. And it's time for Finn Dinosaur. I bet you didn't know this. You're, you already said Brachiosaurus is the tallest plant eater in the Jurassic world. Taller than 1,200 Lego minifigures stood on top of one another. That's, that's a lot of Yeah, Legos. that's a lot of Legos. Dr. Grant. I give you the resonating chamber of a velociraptor. This is brilliant, Billy. Really, it is. Sad to say, I'm going to have to pack up in four weeks. Dr. Grant? Paul Kirby, Kirby Enterprises. Amanda and I just love the outdoors. Heck, we've been on just about every adventure tour they can come up with. I've chartered an airplane to fly us over Isla Sorna, and we'd like you to be our guide. And of course, we'd love to make a contribution to your research here. Yeah, he goes uh, to Jurassic Park 3 because they're running out of funding. In comes this rich couple. Break me when we get Indiana there. Jones reference! Oh, yeah! Wake me up when we get there. aircraft approaching Isla Sorna. You are flying in restricted airspace. Would you like some money? I just give people money because I'm rich. setting up a perimeter to make the place safe. On this island, there is no such thing as safe. We have to get back on that plane. Would you tell your wife to stop making that noise? That is a very, very bad idea. Oh, yeah, their son goes missing, I think. Yeah, I think so. Amanda! You really need to work on communication in your marriage. Yeah, but will she listen? Everyone? That's the thing. Oh, 
How do you grab the controller? Yeah, I'll... You promise? I pinky promise. You pinky promise? Wow, this is great conversation. Hopefully you guys can hear that okay. Yeah. So, you got some people that are trapped, it sounds like. We already have most of the dinosaurs coming after us. Yep. Exactly. I don't think we have a character that can throw anything. I'm, I'm trying... Stop calling for Eric! Oh. Wait. Uh, that guy has a grappling hook, Amber. Over this way. Okay, great. Oh, here we go. Okay, great. There you go. Right where his face is. Yep. And I hope you guys are all having a great day. Um, great to see everybody in the chat there. I can get up this way. Okay. We've got um, a whole bunch of people there today. Um, Binary Man and Joshua, Cammy and... Um, and Kyle, Kylie, and Simon, Ruga, and everybody. So thanks so much, guys, for coming out to the stream. Yep, and reminder, guys, tomorrow is the DC Universe stream. Um, yeah. And can I just say, if you guys can just keep Cammy in your thoughts and prayers, that will really help her out a lot. Okay. Uh, oh. And if you guys are wondering, I'm playing as Alan's new assistant. His name is Billy. Oh yeah, I I cannot remember where is his wife. I don't even understand. Alan? Alan didn't get married. Which one of them has the lady calling? Uh, she's like calling mustache him. guy, mustache oh, okay. rich guy. Oh, all right, yeah. yeah, yeah. Those were come sodden at this. I never knew they attacked in herds, or that their bites hurt so much. Boom. It has been so long since I've watched this one. Come on up. Uh, the third movie, I don't know. I mean, the thing that I remember about it, I mean, I might be mistaken, but I think he has this daydream where he sees Velociraptors dressed yes. up as uh, his former friends. Yeah, I think he does. But Ian isn't in this movie other than, like, a brief little non, non-appearance cameo. Ow. Yeah. Ellie comes back, though. Yeah. But Ellie was... Act I didn't even know that Dr. Grant and Ellie were an item, but she ends up marrying somebody else and has a, a little kid. Oh, I know! It's kind of like the one that got away. Yup. Because Alan is still single. Alright, I don't think there's anyone who can do this. Oh. It's not letting me did do you, it. Did you fire the grappling hook? Let me, I did. Let me try. Because maybe I do all the digging because I'm... The Apprentice? I don't know. Oh, never mind. So, yeah, let us know in the comments of this video if you guys are watching this or whatever, re-watching it, or once this video goes up, let us know what your favorite Jurassic Park movie was of the old movies or the new ones. Yep. That's good. I probably like the first one the most. Yeah, me too. I don't really... The third one was weird because you had that strange-looking dinosaur. Yeah, I'm going to say I've never really seen a good... I hardly ever see a good sequel. It's even rarer to see a, like, third, you know, movie in a, you know... I don't know what you call the third sequel, but, trilogy. you know... Trilogy? Trilogy. Originally it was a trilogy. Good. Yeah. Because, like, the only trilogy, a uh, third of a trilogy I've ever seen that's actually good was, like, Toy Story 3. Yeah, but now you can't even call Toy Story a trilogy anymore because it's had four movies. Yeah. Now they have to make a fifth one and a sixth one in order to turn it into a saga or whatever. Uh, I don't think so. I mean, I don't, I don't really know if... The, I mean, was the fourth one really even that good? Like, I don't know. Yeah, but you have to be very careful with four movies because Superman made four movies and it was horrible. <laughs> the only, okay, fine. We'll go with... I think part of the reason why they keep rebooting movies is to avoid the Superman curse. Yeah, maybe. I mean, think about it. There was three X-Men film, and then they did a reboot. 
There's been three X-Men film of the, the new class. Wait, no. Wait, they did a fourth one, and the fourth one was terrible. Oh my gosh, it's true! The Superman curse is true! Think about it. Okay, X-Men First Class. That's that's one X-Men movie from the new group, right? Then yeah. you had um, X-Men uh, Future, Future Whatever, Future Past. That's two. Then you had X-Men Apocalypse. That's three. And the fourth one was The Dark Phoenix. And it was horrible. Yeah, the, I mean... It's I, true! I always feel like the movies get progressively worse for, since the first one. The only exception! When it was like Toy Story 3, I was like, wow, this is the first third movie I've ever seen that was actually pretty good. Ever. And let me know in the co in the chat or the comments below if you guys have any movie series that's ever had a third movie that's good. Because I cannot think of one. Except for Return of the Jedi. Maybe. And why Why is it that, yeah, Return of the Jedi wasn't bad for a, a third movie. But I, I kind of feel like George Lucas had all of those movies in his head already. I don't really know if it counts. Okay, how am I gonna do this? Okay, Luke, uh, Hat Man, you need to be over here. Oh, me, yes. Hat Man. Fedora guy. Fedora. Alan. Yeah, why are they trying to make him look like Indiana Jones in this? It was an obvious reference. Oh. Luke, you have to go across your skeleton bridge, or up here. I can't climb that. All right, I, I have to go across the skeleton bridge, yeah, right? Yeah, you do. But I was just really thinking about that now because usually the third movies are not the best. They're okay, but they're but when you try to to, to you know go too far cuz X-Men Apocalypse was not that good of an X-Men movie. The reason why Toy Story 3 was so great was because his dad came into it. When you when you when you have an established character and then you invite their dad in later, it's like I don't know. Oh wait, there you go. Indiana Jones 3, because Sean Connery was in it, the same thing happened. They introduced his dad. Mm -hmm. Wait, who was the dad in Toy Story? What are you talking about? Emperor Zurg. Is uh, Buzz Lightyear's dad. I know, but that was Toy Story 2. Oh. What was Toy Story 3? Toy Story 3 is where, uh, what's his name? Never mind. I guess maybe... <laughs> Maybe I was yeah, wrong then. Maybe Toy... the third movie wasn't good because I don't even remember it. The third movie was about Andy growing up and then passing his toys on. The third movie oh. wasn't bad. I... Then I don't know if I liked the third movie. <sighs> Never mind. Maybe maybe I was thinking it was the only sequel I ever liked. I mean, Toy the, Story 2. the third movie felt like it was a good ending to you know the trilogy, but yeah, the second one is my favorite. Yeah, that's what I was thinking of. The second one. All right. Most Never mind. most number two movies in the trilogy are always the best. Like they're yeah. just they're really think about it. Um, Dark Knight for the Christopher Nolan trilogy. Like everybody thinks that the Dark Knight was the better of the Batman movies. Like out of all of them. Then from the Spider-Man Sam Raimi movies, everybody talks about in high esteem Spider-Man Two. You know, but Spider-Man and Spider-Man Three. Spider-Man Three was eh, and Spider-Man was good. But Spider-Man 2 was like a whole nother level. You know? Yeah, so there so. you got Dark Knight, you got Spider-Man 2. But then, from the X-Men movies, um, everybody agrees that X-Men Unite or what I don't remember what the second X-Men movie was for a uh, Brian Singer. Um Oh wait. X-Men 3 was called The Last Stand. I think it was called X-Men United or something. I don't remember. But uh the one that had Nightcrawler in it, that was a really good X-Men movie. And mm. um, you know. It was, it was pretty good. And uh, from the new X-Men films, guy? Days of the Future Past was an amazing superhero movie. That's also a number two in their, you know, franchise of reboots. That's yeah. like the most popular one. Well, I'm more of a first movie person, though. I always like... Oh, my gosh! I loved Batman Begins, and I loved Star Wars A New Hope the best out of their trilogies. Oh, thank you for the super chat, Roger Ay Ayala. Thank you so much. Who has a satellite phone? Oh, thank I you, do. Roger. No. Already, someone who's been eaten by a dinosaur. Ah. It's spiny. Yeah, thank you so much, Roger. You were amazing. 
Oh, the Spinosaurus. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, it, when you saw that dude run away, he got eaten in the movie. All right, Luke. I don't really know because I don't think I ever watched The Dark Phoenix. I don't know. Maybe I did and I forgot it. No, we both haven't seen it. Okay. It's horrible, though. Some people were asking why you thought it wasn't good, but I don't know. I guess nobody thought it was good in general, so I don't know if we want to go into that, but... It's pretty bad. I mean... Wait, that was the recent one that came out, yeah, right? Yeah, that was the recent one. It It is now, okay. according to not just viewers and the critics, but unanimous, it's like the worst of the brand new X-Men movies. Like, it's actually the worst X-Men movie of all time. It's even worse than X-Men 3, The Last Stand. Wait, didn't they get a whole new actress to play, um... Jean? Yeah. Yeah, she's been... She's... I mean... Uh, also, wasn't the best movie with the Phoenix, wasn't the one where Wolverine had to end her at the end? No, that movie's horrible. Really? X-Men 3 is terrible. It was? Yes. It seemed kind of exciting to no, me. No, no. X-Men 2, she I becomes I, she becomes the Phoenix at the end of X-Men 2, and I it looks I, like she dies. I, but I thought I watched X-Men 3 with you one time. Of course we've seen in all the original Brian Singer X-Men films. Oh, I'm so confused. Like... That wasn't considered a good movie? No! It was like the Batman and Robin of that uh, franchise. It was a it was a franchise killer. Oh, okay. Ha <laughs> ha! It's time you did some explaining, Mr. Kirby. Way to go, Billy. Thing looks like a duck. I'm sorry, it's just hard for me to take that seriously. I'm gonna say this right now! Ducks do not make good superheroes, and naming yourself after a duck is a stupid idea! Or a villain. No, a villain works! Okay, fine. But not a superhero, unless your name is Darkwing Duck. But All I right. can't I can't believe what Warner and DC and AT&T are doing to Robin. I mean, people, Tim. People are correcting me in the chat saying, yes, X-Men 3 was a bad movie. I really believe that the new X-Men franchise jinxed themselves where they were making fun of the uh, older X-Men movies. Like, whenever they said... They even said in X-Men Apocalypse, because they're going to see three movies... Like, uh, the third movie in a franchise. I don't remember what movie it was. Um, but they went and they saw it, and they're like, usually the third movie in a franchise is bad. It's like, you just doomed your own movie. I know. X-Men Apocalypse was so bad. Oh, I never saw the X-Men movie where that weird guy was, like, bringing in... Is that what we're talking about? I think that's Apocalypse. You're talking about the blue face? Blue face dude. Yeah, that's Apocalypse. All right, people are correcting us in the chat saying that Darkwing Duck was a good hero. I said Darkwing Duck Oh, you work. said that. Okay, never mind. I'm sorry. I, I am so out of it, apparently. <laughs> Why do you even have me on this channel? I don't know. Because it's a collab channel with both of us. I'm so weird. All right, I need to be Grappling Hook Guy. Where is he? Grappling, grappling hook. hook Guy. Yeah. Mustache power. Straight up. I literally don't remember the plot of this movie at I just all. told you. They're, the only reason they're on this expedition is because their son, the rich people's son, was taken by dinosaurs or something. Oh, yeah. Yeah. He was, um, uh, that glidey thing where you, you have a glider and you glide. Oh, that's right. The glider. Yeah. Where, where's Alan? We and need then Alan. he was doing it for fun. Like, he's a rich guy, so he does weird spelunking and stuff. You know, he's a billionaire or whatever. And then he got lost over this island with dinosaurs and they're freaking out. Yep. And then they, they basically fund Alan's stuff. And uh, Alan is terrified of the dinosaurs and goes back to Jurassic Park. Oh, yeah. Because they need a guide. Oh, yeah. Doesn't he need money for his, like, yes. research? Yep. You let a 12-year-old go parasailing alone? No. He was with a friend. Mom. Ben Hildebrand. How long have they been missing? Eight weeks. Almost eight weeks. So why me? He said we needed someone who'd been on the island before. I have never been on this island. Sure you have. That was Isla Nublar. This is Isla Sorna. Site B. Nobody move a muscle. What did he just say? Yeah. 
Oh, so he's never been on this island. So this is site B. The movie took place in the first movie took place at site A, and the second movie took place at the ruins of site A. Oh, okay. So this is all new thing. We have to be quiet. Is that about me? It's Dr. Grant. We need to be quiet, so we gotta break all the Legos, Amber. Alright, I'm trying to get Fedora Ban out of here. Yeah, bust all the Legos quietly. Very quietly. So Hmm. Yeah, people were wondering what's the best Avengers movie, but there's so many of them in that whole... I can't remember... It's really weird, because for the first time, I would say that a number two movie in the trilogy wasn't very good. Like, Age of Ultron is the second Avengers movie. I'm pretty sure that it takes place... Uh, yeah, Age of Ultron is, is the second. The third movie... Is technically winter, or technically Captain America: Civil War, or is it? It's so hard. Or is the third movie Infinity War? I don't know because so many of them have branched off to different movies. And I mean, they have personally, movies. I would kind of count the Captain America, you know, uh, Civil War movie as an Avengers movie. Oh my gosh! Personally, I didn't even see all the Captain America movies. There was only three. Yeah, but I didn't see all of them. There was one where Captain America and, like, Black Widow were together or something. That's, uh, Winter Soldier. I never saw that, I don't think. Really? Because I took you to see it. What? <laughs> Don't worry. Yeah. No, wait, we didn't! Yes, we did. We did see it. They weren't together in that. They oh my gosh, were they? Not really, but there was a lot of Oh, there was hints. hinting they were together. That's what I was, that's what I was talking about. We did see that together. You're right. I'm yes, sorry. Wait, I need mustache man, honey. You gotta pull that duck down. Oh. Mustache man is here to the rescue! There is no way that, like, that dinosaur would beat the T-Rex. And I can't remember with the Iron Man movies. I remember I either only liked the second one or I hated the second one. And the other two I liked. I cannot remember which one. The second one wasn't bad. The third one was terrible. Or wait. No, I think I liked one and three, and I hated. Or was the second, the second one. one bad? I think I felt like the second one. He was really arrogant, I and then by the third one, he became better. See, Marvel kind of broke the. They changed it up though, because usually the third movie in their franchise is good, like for the MCU movies, and the second one is not so good. Case in point. Oh, you uh, have to be the dinosaur. Oh really? Ah, oh, I'm the T-Rex. Go, T-Rex! I'm always rooting for T-Rex. You know it. Oh, yeah. King of the dinos. Take that, Spinosaurus! Whatever. I think it needs more help. Come on. Well, how are we gonna help it? He's so powerful, Luke, because he has a fin like a duck. Oh, whatever, stupid ducks! <laughs> oh, and my have you, gosh. Have you seen his new costume? It's orange! I know. Why would you make him orange? I haven't seen it, but as soon as if you name somebody Drake, I'm thinking they should they should do like a parody with Drake and Josh or something. No! <laughs> Who's my favorite Robin? DC uh, you suck. I know. Ugh. It's terrible. It doesn't even sound like very it doesn't even sound very like Robin sounds so cool. Like it Drake. just Robin sounds like somebody who, like, literally would just kind of, like, bounce circles around you. That was the whole this point. This is what I've been telling people. When you get rid of the creative team at DC, you get garbage. Yeah. Now you have Bendis, who made a lot of horrible decisions at Marvel, making horrible choices at DC. Are we going to get a rant video for you, Luke, or what? When I get time. I need to look at a Drake and see what it actually looks it like. It looks like a duck. Didn't they say it's the most horrifying? Okay, I'm just gonna say that just because no, of my- No, Bendis said that. Okay, just because of my nerddom, actually, the biggest bird in history was the Archaeopteryx, which was so large that it used to eat, like, small horses and foxes. So if he really wanted to be the most powerful bird, he would be- he would be Archaeopteryx! <laughs> no, he would be like a hawk or an eagle. Yeah, I'm talking- that's like an ancient, uh, prehistoric bird, so- yeah, so if he wanted to be the best bird now, I'd, I'd name him Hawk. 
All right, like Hawk and Dove. We're missing something. Or no, we don't. We can't I go. I think there. we have to be the. I think we have to be the dinosaur again. No. No. All right, we're missing something. Aha! I found it. We got we got thrown off because of Drake and Josh. <laughs> I'm just I'm just imagining him like go, go towards an enemy and be like, I'm the Drake. Stop it! <laughs> Stop it! <laughs> and they'll be like, you're the who? What? What's it? Uh, I'm so it's confused. What? It's, but what? It's his last name. Why? Why would he? No superhero uses their name as yeah, a superhero. Yeah. Why would you? Why would you use your last name? Then they know who you are. Isn't the whole point like to conceal your identity? Why would you wear a mask? Why don't they just name his name, his social security number, or his home address? I'm so sleepy. He's just having a bad day. Why doesn't he just call out his blood type? Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> now I gotta play as a T Rex. Come on, T Rex! You have to push triangle and then select it. Oh, I got it. Mind. I got it. it. Go time! Uh oh. Ouch! It bit my face! <laughs> Rawr! Yeah, how do you like that? Feels good, doesn't it? Booyah! Great. Any ideas? Um. Grappling hook guy, let's go. Yeah. Whoops. So people in the chat are like, uh, we messed up Tim Drake again. It's like, yeah, well, you guys might see a rant video from Luke about it, so... No, DC messed up Tim Drake. There, there's an author at DC who's a Marvel author who basically was killing Marvel. And for whatever reason, DC thought it would be a great idea to hire him. Not DC. It was actually um, a guy at DC who's terrible at any creative job, and that is Dido. <laughs> I'm serious. I thought you usually say his name like Dido. The reason why DC movies and television are doing so well right now is because Jim Lee is the executive in charge of the television stuff, but he's no longer at DC Comics. Like, he just has, like, kind of a admiral role. He doesn't do all that much. I'm just sending me over? I'm sending more people over because I don't know what you're doing. You're kind of, like, concerned with... Uh... I don't know what we're supposed to be doing. Break stuff. Oh, wait. Where did I go? Uh, oh. I don't know. I'm over here. I don't think I am over there. Well, yeah, be somebody else and then get that girl over there. Oops. Get the girl over? Doesn't matter who you do. Okay, there we go. Now the wifey and the husband are together. Hooray! Yay! Yay. And this is why you don't go parasliding, uh, paragliding in a... Oh! Alright, T-Rex. You best get him. Here we go again. Wait. All oh, right. Who's the dino? This is what's happening right now. I'm dropping out because I can't see anything. Dino saucers. bum 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 yeah, and if you guys are new, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, we do like to keep our comments like PG and yep. no like politics or anything, but we just don't like a lot of Come on, let's you know both yeah, this stuff channel, that people could argue about. In this in channel's PG, guys, so just mm. keep that in mind. Um, if you have like brothers, sisters, grandparents, whatever, this is a safe environment where people of all ages and walks of life can just hang out and you know see some video games. And we uh, post content three to four times a day, Kirby, along with live streaming. No such thing as so Kirby welcome. It's Kirby Paint and Tile Plus. The plus stands for bathroom fixtures. Um, we're in the Westgate Shopping Center, Enid, Oklahoma. Billy, we go back to Clay and salvage what we can, and we make for the coast. Dr. Grant, we're not leaving this island without our son. Then you can go and look for him. Huh? They were pretending to be rich. You're not really a mercenary, are you? I never said I was. So? What do we do? We search for your son. In the direction that they're going. Excellent, excellent.
find him. You listening to me? We're gonna find him. I don't remember if the parents survive. I don't think so. I don't know. Yeah, and um yeah, the people on our channel that help us out and stuff like that, they help us out from the goodness of their heart. So please right, be very I nice to them because we can't afford to lose them. Oh, I remember too, guys, we what's happening. Um we were approached by a longtime fan that wants to work with us to create a subreddit. So that's going to be happening this fall. If there are any people that would like to help uh, with the subreddit, I will give you the guy's contact information. Um, you can get a hold of us on our Twitter, at Kwings Let's Plays, and write us a message, and I will get you in touch with that person. Um, because we've been trying to have a subreddit for years now, and we've never really had yeah. the opportunity for someone to make that and run that. I have so. tried to create one so many times, and I keep getting kicked off Reddit. I know! I don't understand how the rules work. Like, I don't understand how Reddit works, like, with the yeah. gold that you have to earn and stuff. And, like, you can only say certain things you can't. Like, they're like, oh, you can't promote your own stuff or like then you can or you're supposed to make like an r ask me anything i am a i don't understand how it works so. right so we actually have people that understand reddit and that's gonna be kind of cool so um what is the subreddit cami it's like uh basically reddit is one of the top places where people share videos and mm -hmm. things like that and different we've things. never been on it and basically, it has a gigantic set of rules. If you don't follow the rules, then basically they can vote your posts down or up, depending on if you're following the rules or if people get mad at you because you're posting. Like, you have to post it in the right category. It's very confusing. Like, say you have a gameplay video, but you post it in the wrong thing, and they're expecting you to post a review, but you actually posted it in the Let's Play category, but you actually you thought you were posting it in the game footage category. There's like so many different reddits and then subs of that and then a subreddit of that and a subreddit of that subreddit. So it's so confusing that I have no idea what I'm doing and that's how a lot of YouTubers grow is through reddit. But I have no clue what I'm doing so... Yep, that's the easiest way to explain it. it it's a, a very niched audience. Uh, of people and they're responsible for growing reddit as a community has blown up more youtubers in 10 years than any other sharing service yeah and i'm very sorry and youtube you. actually counts those as views whereas some of these other um services they don't really count as views anymore they're cracking down on twitter and facebook now even more as like really not counting those as views so there's only a handful of sites that are external that YouTube still counts as, like, um, you know, traffic. And mostly, I think YouTube is doing that because it has to do with uh, some stuff that's happening with YouTube internally. Like, they also suffered a major lawsuit recently, so... Yeah, like, when we share stuff on Facebook, for instance, like, basically, we could get, like, a thousand or so... It will say like a thousand or so people watch this video from Facebook, and then YouTube will only count like ten tw people, twenty-five or fifty of those views, or ten, yep. whatever. So like we won't get all the views from Facebook, which is really weird. We used to, but yep. they so literally. That's what I don't understand about YouTube right now is like, you can literally get tons of people watching, but then YouTube will say, well, we're only gonna give you so many of these views, which actually feels kind of wrong because it's not accurate it, it's very shady but the reason why they're doing that too is youtube views facebook as a competitor because facebook has a streaming service now yeah that makes sense so a reddit site is just a sharing site yeah but um i do just recommend that people be really careful because they're i would not let if you guys have kids or if you are kids, I would not let you go on there without parental supervision because there is a lot of stuff on there. Like, it's just anyone can share anything on there, basically. Yep. If you know what I'm saying. Right, so we're going to build this. Oh, I get it. We made a another catapult thing. So the next person that needs to go up is the dude with the gun, which is this guy. So... All right. Uh, no, no, you. Okay. Oh dang it! I did it wrong. 
Wrong oh, person. you did the wrong person. Yeah. Which one needs to go up there? Gun dude? This guy. Okay, then he has to... Oh, yeah, no, then he goes first. Yeah, he goes first. All right, let me join or something. Oh, sorry. There we go. Now I just need to hop on... Wait. Oh, dang it! Um, I think, yeah, that that doesn't work, Amber. You can't be in right now. Yeah, I know. All right, so... Okay. Um, people were wondering what my favorite dinosaur is. Um, I'd have to say Plesiosaur, or I also like the Brachiosaur because, or Brachiosaurus, I can't remember exactly the name, because, um, Brachiosaur is pretty cool, like, actually bigger than the, um, Apatosaurus, or as it used to be called when I was a little kid, Brontosaurus, but now it's called Apatosaurus, but yeah, like, Brachiosaur is so... Like the, it's actually the bre the dinosaur with a really long neck in the beginning of the 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 loading screen or the the, the uh, title screen is actually a brachiosaur, and like um, I guess their bodies, as I remember, were so like gigantic that they would mostly have to sit in water. I mean, well, this is what I was reading about when I was a little kid about dinosaurs. I don't know if this is accurate or not. But basically, they don't swim. They're actually land animals, but their bodies are so gigantic that they'd have to submerge mostly underwater mm -hmm. so they could actually support their own weight or something, which I thought was really interesting. So they're huge. And, like, they're just... They're kind of like the giraffe of dinosaurs because their neck goes, like, tremendously tall. So they're pretty cool. We're going to take this guy up here now. Um... Oh, John Doe said Brachiosaur also appeared in the first Jurassic Park movie. Yeah. When I was a kid, it was called the Brontosaurus. Just saying. Okay, put, put that put that away. Wait, I can't track things. Uh. Let's see what else there is around here. If you're not a mercenary, then how are you able to? Can you do something with these, Doctor Grant? Okay, Doctor Grant. All right, cool. So, uh, if you guys have a favorite dinosaur, you could definitely let us know in the chat. Stripe the Hedge Tiger yes, says next. his favorite dinosaur or her favorite, whatever this person's favorite dinosaur. I don't, I don't know because people have like. Uh, cartoon characters as their avatars. So I don't know if it's a girl or a guy, but says my favorite dino is. Therazinosaurus? It's the only herb herbivorous theropod. Cool. Wait, Sounds I can't pretty climb cool. Lines. Hmm. Why did they change the dinosaur's name from Gabby? Uh... Um because they because okay. Many people don't know this, but like apparently many times they find dinosaur bones, they're actually not like in order. Like the neck isn't and the body and the legs aren't in order. It's kind of like a jumbled up mesh. Like, many times it's just like a pit of bones. And they have to figure out what order they're supposed to put it together. Many times there are many dinosaurs buried together. So, what happened with the brontosaur... The brontosaurus... Was they originally put the wrong head with the wrong body. Or so they said. And then later on, they found... They supposedly found more similar dinosaurs with a different head and then they found there was a nearby head that they didn't think was that head or something so then Mr. DNA at your service so basically what it's really confusing but basically the the patasaurus is the brontosaur but with a different head can, on it basically like basically with all science it's trial and error science is only proven to the point where this is what we know so far until we find another explanation. Yeah, they're always changing science. Even though they say ch science is absolute, it's not absolute because it's never... They it's, they it's always make intelligent new, guessing. new discoveries. Exactly. Intelligent guessing. So, I mean, when you have like people like Bill Nye saying science is always like irrefutable, it's like they always change science or they mess things up. Case in point with dinosaurs. And uh, other things, so I mean, yeah, you know. it's always a scientific fact until they find a different fact that outrules that fact, and, and then, then they change yeah, it. Yeah, then they change it. Yeah. <laughs> so. And they've yeah. done it our entire life, so that's why we can. We've been around thirty something years, so we can well, kind of see. 
I mean, they've done it forever, though. Like, I know. Even, I mean, you know, like, even with the order of the planets and stuff and how the planet? planets move. Oh, yeah. Isn't Jupiter a planet again? And a while ago, they turned it into, like, 20 years ago, it was a moon. And now it's a planet um, again or something. I think that was Pluto, but, yeah, like, so, I don't know. They always change stuff. Yeah, they they do keep messing up what with is, Pluto. What is that? I don't know what that is. Whoops! Ah. Actually, actually, Luke, to be honest, mm. uh, they thought Pluto was a small moon, but now they found out it was a space station. Ah! I see what you did there. <laughs> I see, that was right. clever. Oh, that was clever. Yeah. That was clever. So. That was clever. That was good. That was good. Parachute power! Oh, there it is! What? That's a Brachiosaurus! Right what? there! Where? Where? That's a dinosaur, I said. Yeah. That's, that's a Brachiosaurus. Uh... Yep, it won't hurt us as long as we're not that, dressed as a tree. That was such a great part of the movie when the kids were so frightened of dinosaurs. Then they got into the trees and they thought the the plant eaters would eat them, and they didn't because they were plant eaters, so they were nice. But in reality, I mean, not to be dark or anything, just because they can't eat you doesn't mean they can't hurt you. I'm just saying, like in reality, <laughs> nothing. Okay, I'm <laughs> just saying. I'm just saying. Mm. All right. Ah, giant spider. Not cool. Oh, is that? What is that? Ah, oh, I made a bridge. Awesome. All right, Doctor Grant. Yeah, I mean, like. I mean, that's why some of the plant eaters with defense mechanisms are really cool, like. Um, oh my gosh, Triceratops, of course, with the three horns. Uh-oh. And then, um, you got Stegosaurus with the fins on the back. And then that one guy with the weird tail that had the spikes on it, I don't remember what that guy was called. Was it Pachycephalosaurus? I don't know. I, I, don't I know. had a book on dinosaurs, but it was from the 80s, so it's probably not the right names anymore. Or some of the it dinosaurs could, don't even look the same. They could definitely be changed. I mean, they keep changing. Did you know? Like, I think I already talked about this last time we did this. But maybe I'll say this fun fact again. But I, like, read somewhere, like, recently that they actually found, like, evidence that there was, like, different holes in, like, the T-Rex skull and in other skulls of dinosaurs. And they were trying to figure out what those holes would be for. And then many scientists were theorizing that they... That these dinosaurs possibly produced fire in these holes and breathed it out. And I was just like... Dragons. Oh my gosh. <laughs> like, and they say dragons didn't exist. Like, what? They don't anymore. <laughs> they were all killed during so, the Middle Ages. So, there you go. <laughs> I thought that was interesting that they So spent, dinosaurs and dragons were one and the same. That they kind of oh, okay. spent so many years, like, saying, oh, dragons don't exist. And then, like, in... After so many years, they finally started saying, well, you know, we really think they use these possibly for fire. It was like... Doesn't dinosaur... <laughs> wasn't the... There was like a term for dinosaur that meant terrible thunder lizard. Yeah, it's terrible lizard or something yeah. like that. But anyway. All right. Uh, we have to find somebody small to go up here. We don't have anybody small yet. We need... Where, where is mustache guy? There he is. Ta -da! Oh, Baldy. Oh, yeah, the weirdest looking dinosaur I always thought was the duck billed platypus. It's Wait. Because it's a duck! Yeah, duck billed dinosaur or something. I can't remember what it was called, but. I'm sorry, but I'm, I'm going to be raging about this for a couple days. And also, guys, they announced the cast for Suicide Squad, and John Cena is joining the DC Universe. Wow. I have no idea who he's going to play. Amber thinks Killer Croc. That's who I'm guessing! All right, everyone in the comments, let us know who you think John Cena is going to play. I think he'd make a great Bane.
Oh, that's right. He takes an egg. Oh Billy my takes gosh. an egg. Billy survives, though. I'm pretty sure. All right. The qu the answer to my question before from Stripe the Hedge Tiger says Hadrosaurs, K Wings. Mm. I think. Are we talking about the ba -ba, the duck dinosaur ba -ba, or the armored ba -ba, one? Ba -ba. Bum, 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 bum. All right, Luke. You have an arm. You have an Arkham slash school related question from mm. Toaster Twenty Four. What up, Toaster? All right. So Toaster Twenty Four says K Wing and Amber. My my ex best friend thinks ex best friend that we are still friends, but he kind of bullies me now and bullies my crush. Oh. Should I use my Arkham skills on him or? And the other people that bully me, or should I just use words? Use words. Don't get into fights. You should only use um, your fists if you're defending yourself, never for attacking people. Um, if someone is coming after you, then by all means defend yourself, but don't go instigating a fight. That's not that's not what a superhero does. I, but, I, yeah. learned, I learned martial arts to defend myself. I never learned it to attack anybody. Um, very, I'm very sorry that the person is doing that. I have, bullies suck, man. But sometimes friends do become bullies. That's really mean. I mean, but if I don't, I don't understand what happened with your friendship. But I mean, if the bullying was the trigger for that, then I mean, you can find new friends, and maybe uh, the guy down the road will. I don't know. So, but but so, it's happened to me. Like some people I just lost, get mean. I lost a lot of friends uh, when I got into high school and stuff. That you know, I was friends with grade school. People change, unfortunately. They do change. It's true. And in my adult well, life, I haven't had many friends. We'll definitely keep you in our thoughts and prayers. Definitely, toaster. And um, yeah, like I actually uh, like you. I was asking people on Twitter to like, you know. You know, just keep this one girl in her, our thoughts and prayers that's in my class. And things worked out a little bit better. Like, I was able to... My teacher was able to help out. And I should actually let people know things did go better. But then, like, I was just there, like, on the last... Before, yesterday at school. And I was, like, trying to just hang out with her and stuff like that. And everyone just, like, moved away from me. So people I thought were my friends weren't anymore. <laughs> so I was just like... Oh, great. So if I try to do the right thing, everyone's mean to me. It's like, wow, this is weird. Mm -hmm. So, I don't know. Life is just... I feel like, you know, you should be really proud of yourself, Toaster, that that you are not the mean bully. And that, you know, I think that you are a pretty strong person for, you know, he must see, or her or whatever, must see something good in you that he feels the need to bully you. That's how I feel. Usually bullies, they're jealous of the person they're bullying so if they're bullying you it's probably because they're mad that you're living your life and being happy and you have nothing to apologize for that well isn't he bullying him because he wants the girl that uh, i have no idea i'm not sure it sounds like it's over a girl like from from what i've gathered a little bit which, there was a lot of fights uh, in, in school for girls. I've never had bullies really explain why they're being mean to me. <laughs> they just are mean. Sometimes you never know. But yeah, it could be. Right, what is the mom going to do? Use her mom powers. Also, is everybody amazed that a Jurassic Park Jeep is just sitting here? Hello, Vic. Hey, Vic. Um, so, Charles said R.I.P. Dragons. That's right. <laughs> well, they weren't really dragons. They were dinosaurs. That's that's the theory now, which would make a lot of sense because some of the um, art depicted in especially Japan and China and the, like parts of Europe, the, quote, dragons that uh, some of these knights are fighting look very similar to some other dinosaurs that, uh, you know, we've seen. Well, so. yeah, I mean, like, I've never heard any scientists use the term dragon, but they said they breathe fire. So it's kind of like, okay, well, they never want to admit when they were wrong, basically. Well, they don't want to say, because they believe, honestly, that dragons are fictional. So if they go and say, well, dinosaurs had the ability to breathe fire, then they can't say, well, dinosaurs have been extinct for millions of years. If dinosaurs were still around, you know, four, five, six thousand years ago, 
then doesn't that put holes in some of their theories? So they have to say that there are no such things anymore. Where I honestly believe that dinosaurs still do exist in parts of the world that we can't see. Such as rainforests or, you know, really deep under the ocean where the human body can't survive to go. Yeah, well, you (laughs) remember... Okay. Yeah, I mean, like, I... You know, you know that I... You know what I feel on this. (laughs) Remember... Yeah. For, for centuries, they said that Krakens did not exist. And then, what was it, 15 years ago, they discovered a Kraken? Like, oh, the yeah. giant squid? Well, they, there's a lot of things. Like, the like there's a lot of fish that were supposed to be extinct a long mm-hmm. time ago, etc. All right, who needs to go up there? All right, let's go. Well, I mean, that's what's so cool about these uh, movies, like The Lost World. It gives you an idea, like, oh my gosh, there's now an island where these oh, things exist. Oh, I see. Exist. I, was, I was going too far up. Yeah. So, there we go. It's okay. Sometimes when I'm, like, I get, like, when if somebody's, like, has something that they're dealing with or something like that, and then I'm trying to answer the question, I get, like, confused what I'm doing in the game because I'm concentrating on that. And I'm not, like, concentrating on... Yeah, I just wanted to say one thing, too. Scientists also like to make fun of civilizations that say that they've seen dinosaurs even to this day and chalk it off to hallucinations where there's tribes of people that are not, quote, modern. They would be deemed as savages that are actually hunting dinosaurs in parts of, like, really thick rainforests. But they like to say, oh, those, those people don't know the difference between these giant lizards. They're probably hunting a Komodo dragon when these things are, like, huge that these yeah. tribes are actually killing to this day, you know, where they are. Yeah, so. there is a really cool Monster Quest episode, actually, where they actually interview tribes in the Congo, and they show them different pictures, like, of an elephant, of, like, different types of dinosaurs, like, a hippo, etc. And the one that the people point to is, like, an apatosaurus, mm-hmm. which is really interesting. And they're like, no, this is what we hunt for meat and stuff. And it's like... Whoa, and they're like, crazy. that's not possible because these have been extinct for millions of years. Yeah. And they're just kind of like, well, we hunt and kill it, so cool. <laughs> Except, you know, in their tribal tongue. Yeah, but anyway. This guy's going to die soon. You know, who knows? Uh... Click. But I'm still waiting for the day that people clone uh, dinosaurs and monsters. Then I'm happy to I'm help. happy to help. Yeah, people are saying there's so much of the ocean that we still have to explore. And we'll never be able to because our bodies can't survive it. Mm-hmm. The pressure would, like, crush you like a tin can. Even our most advanced subs can't go... Well, actually, no. Unmanned subs can go down. Uh, the people inside the sub can't be depressurized enough not to survive Yeah. being crushed. Yeah. That's why that Aquaman movie is so cool because Aquaman can go to the very oh, depths I know. of the ocean. Because who knows? Maybe there could be. I mean, say there. That's what's so cool about Aquaman is that in reality, say there was a, a whole civilization of people that lived under the water, we probably would never know about it because it's so far down there. There's no way we could even. Especially if they were cloaked so we couldn't see it. Yep. The unmanned subbed is how they discovered the Kraken, because it was down too deep in the ocean that there was, you know... I actually watched a video where they were sending a videotape down to the ocean to find a 50-foot... Um, well, uh, you, you also know the reason why sailors in the ancient times were attacked by, uh, you know, these giant squid creatures, and why these type of sightings don't really happen on the ocean as much anymore is because... The type of ships that are on, you know, the top of the surface, they're much louder than wooden ships. Oh, yeah, you're right. Wooden ships use the sails, and the shape looked like, you know, a really... Probably a fish or something. Yeah. And I was on the Mayflower. Like, I'm not that old, but I'm saying there's there's a... Whoa! Whoa! What? What? Okay, okay. Oh, my God. There is a Mayflower replica in Plymouth, Massachusetts, which Amber and I... We lived in Cape Cod. I never went on it! I know. I didn't... I didn't... I wanted to go with somebody. I went once. I got very seasick. But the Mayflower, even though it's an impressive ship, back then, like 16... It's pretty small. Yeah, 16, 1700s, they weren't... 
and this was built to scale. This Looks was built like how it was back in the day. Oh, it's not that it big. Machine? Like, it maybe would have 30 or 40 people that could stay inside of it. And I had to duck, because I'm 6'4". Um, the Mayflower, like, the interior of the ship was about 5 foot ceilings, maybe? He's got some change. Maybe smaller? Because people were much smaller back then. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, they were. Like, the ceilings were, like, five feet. I hated going you, on that ship. I never got to go on it, but, yeah, those people That's were That's why I didn't take shorter. you, because I, I, I hit my head, like, so many times that, like, I went below deck once, like, the ten years that I lived there. Yeah. Because I couldn't. And it's so... And even though the ship is in port, it's rocking, and it's creepy, and it smells terrible. Screaming power, Ellie? Or whatever we your name is? No, we don't have any screaming power, I don't think. Wait, does she? Really? Why do the women all have screaming powers? That's it, all right. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes we're emotional. Some ideas about well, that's, that's, what can I say? That's not... That's not it's our right. It's my right! You're, you're not wrong. As a, as a lady so to rest? scream. I, I want to. I want to express my right. <laughs> you want to express your rage. That's right. So yeah, like I mean, it would be more awkward if it was a guy screaming. Ah! Most ships that used to sail, you know, hundreds and thousands of years ago, they were wooden. So them yeah. coming across these creatures that, mm, you know, they didn't really make that much noise, other than the vibrations cool. of the water as it's sailing through it. You also have to realize that a lot of like the ah! pollution and stuff like that has killed a lot of the animals. Oh in, yeah. In the water since then. Oh yeah. Ah, what in the world? Why? But, but yeah, at the same time, when, you know, once in a while there's these weird things that wash up on shore that no one can identify, and they're just like, what is this? Yeah, I... And some I, people watch endless hours of those videos online and have no lives and try to figure it out. They I still remember in the 80s, <laughs> in the 80s in Japan where like that... Me. Where that sea dinosaur was, um, you oh, know, yeah, that... taken out of the what was it, Japanese ocean? Well, okay, Luke. When we did this game last time, and yeah. I started talking about this, you kept going. Don't talk about that. Yeah, I know, but it's a it's, it's a, a live stream. stream. <laughs> Anything could happen. It's a live stream. <laughs> but Luke, uh, you know, you guys, yeah, it's better Luke talks about this than me because he's sounding much more normal about it than I would. Yeah, Amber would go into it too much. You know, okay, fine. For instance, fun fact, there is a 24-hour camera on Loch Ness that is open, that is literally on Loch Ness 24 hours a day. And you can literally sit there and watch for the monster all day if you want and all night. No thanks. I'd How rather... do I know that? I... Because I'm Amber. This is yeah. why you don't want me talking about this subject. <laughs> I would, <done. laughs> I would, I would much rather watch Fish play Street Fighter. I... Yes, that is a thing. There is a stream where they had Goldfish playing Street Fighter. Really? Oh wait, we watched that before. Or yep. was it Pokemon? They have played Pokemon too. Yeah. Wh which one? Which one of us is supposed to do this? I don't even remember which fish won. I, but, I it, you know. Yeah. I am such an inquisitive person that Luke's plan someday is to, um, well, my plan that I have asked Luke for. Maybe I shouldn't say this out loud. We're not going to talk about this. Wait. My dream, my dream that I've asked you if I could have anything I wanted. A cabinet Loch Ness? No, I don't want to. We're going to have a cabinet, um, champ. Like Champlain. Oh, Lank Champlain. Yeah, you and wanted that. And then a... I can watch for Champy every day. Yeah, you could have a YouTube channel where you just, like, stream. That I, I think channel. I would love to, like, frazzle my hair and make it, like, Doc Brown and act insane the whole time. Be like, oh my gosh, I saw a ripple in the water today. <gasps> Let's go out and see if there's something. Marty, it was a fish. <laughs> that right. would be great. All right. I would do that really well. I wouldn't even have to act because... <laughs> 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 That yeah. would be great. All right, let's get on another. <laughs> what in the world? What? Look, we need to figure out what we're doing here. I know what we're doing. We somebody needs to build this. Is this. How you make dinosaurs? No. This Look, is how somebody. You play God. Okay, somebody needs to go over here. Which one of us? It's not blinking. The right number. 
Who's repair dude? The, the mechanic I guy. need to repair something. I'm trying to repair it. You just pushed me away. All right, maybe I'll drop out and see what the... Those are some long-life batteries. Never mind. No, that's what we're supposed to do. Now, uh, where's... Where's the kid? There he is. Nope. And the parachute guy. Stop dying! Fighting tiny dinosaurs! What is wrong with you? We need tiny those studs. Dinosaurs, tiny dinosaurs! Tiny dinosaurs! Ouch! No! Why don't you stand there and collect the studs? The studs. All right. No. Let's get out of this room today. Sometime. Okay, get out of my way. Oops. Thank you. What? How did you just do that? Because I'm There's the one with a parachute. That's why. All right. It's jammed. Can one of you All right, grappling hook guy. Okay. Grappling hook guy. See, that's what I would... If I went on an expedition, I would make sure I had a grappling hook. Yep. Oh, <laughs> I, I hope they know. still work. What are we making exactly? Claws. Yeah. How much do you love Kirby for 1 to 10? Oh, that's right. We're supposed to look at that Kirby game that came out. I love it. 20 billion. On a scale of Come 1 to 10, I love Kirby 20 billion. There was that free Kirby game that came out with that... Um... Hi. Yeah. Oh, this is what we were supposed to do. Yeah, bounce on the UFO. Oops. Dang it. Why? Okay, there we go. Okay, we need to get to that walkway above us. Fat chance with half of that ladder missing. Yeah. That's what I was gonna say. Hey, at least I'm not as crazy obsessed as that. Oh, I never mind. Bones? It doesn't matter. Gives me an idea. We need to get those bones out of there. What bones? I don't know. There's this one guy that literally lives at Loch Ness and he quit his job and quit his entire life so he could just make little like clay sculptures of the Loch Ness Monster and sell them to people and he lives in his van and he has binoculars and he sits there and watches the, the lake like 24 hours. Wow, that's career goals. And when I heard about that when I was like younger, I was like, oh, can I do that? <laughs> I was like, and then I realized later on, like, that's not really like, but it would be cool. Like if he found it, that would be really cool. But <laughs> If he found it, how long has he been there? Uh... I don't know. I don't know if he's still there. It's going to be impossible to find, like, those type of creatures because, like, modern, you know, modern times are not quiet times. Yeah. I mean, look how hard it is to find people on Jurassic Park Island. Exactly. Like, you think you're hunting them, but in reality, they're hunting you. Mm -hmm. That's why I feel it's usually uh -oh. what's going on. I thought I fixed this. Now I just broke it. All right. Grappling hook would come in I love there. Kirby. Kirby's my favorite. What is this? Oh. Okay, wife. Kirby, uh, Nessie just got sighted in China. I wouldn't doubt it. Great, but we'll need more pressure in Thank there. you, Tyler, for the or information. Or a Nessie got sighted in China. It's not... Or one of his cousins. Yeah, one of his cousins. What do you... <laughs> Gabby was like, do what? <laughs> what do you... Oh my gosh, Gabby. What I know about that subject is that make a new I don't want to know about it. It's not good. You have to be a paleontologist to build ladders. Yeah. Out of bones. Bone doctor! What? Uh, yeah. Anyway. Yep, collect those studs, please. Wow, we haven't run into Ellie uh, yet? That's yeah. surprising. So, Gabby, what what you need to know about that subject? Independence Day. That's all you need to know. Ah! Uh, Ew, this is gross. Ah, uh, we need Ian. Ian does math. What is this? Some bald guy. Yeah, but, but in all seriousness, I really... You know, like... Whoa. I, Hang on, Amber. Things yeah. they were trying to breed. Yeah, mind. I should get some shots of them. Get some shots? Who has a camera? 
Okay, you can talk now. Oh, I was just gonna say, it's interesting for a while, but in reality, it's probably better to, you know... Some, some stuff is better just hidden because it, you know, some stuff is just like, you would rather just not know anyway. It's better just to like live with your life and be happy than worry about all that stuff. That, that's what I have to say about that. <clears throat> it yep. is interesting though. But mm, yep. Sometimes it's better to just watch Star Trek The Next Generation, have some popcorn, watch the K-Wings, hang out, watch Indiana Jones or whatever you guys like to watch and watch Saturday morning cartoons and hang out and just just enjoy your life and be happy. That's what I have to say. Who is that? Oh, you. Get that. Oh, I'm just taking photos of stuff. Oh, maybe I can take a photo. Nope. This is the assistant's job. They're growing more dinosaurs here. Which, that can't be good. Well, that was smart. Now somebody else is going to get eaten. Will it be a family member or will it be the bald guy? Yeah. Whoa. I am not Ellie, whatever girl I am. No, this is you're the mother of uh Eric. 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 I don't know why, but she reminds me of the girl in Indiana Jones who's always like that. The girl from the Temple of Doom? Yeah. Yep. Ouch! Can we, like, not do that, please? Thank you very much. Whoa! Yeah, this is problematic. Whoa! Uh-oh. Smart. He's calling for help. Come oh my on. gosh. I love how Alan is so dramatic about everything. He's like, he's calling for help. No! The breeding facility. Complete! <laughs> Yeah. I mean, but that's how they had to be in those old movies, because they didn't have very much budget. So the actors had to portray as much fear in their faces as possible, right up close to the camera. And then you felt their fear, fear and then you were freaking out. I mean, if you think about it, watching those old movies, they were so great at acting. Oh, 97%! You know, Ouch. They took shadows and made them so scary. Shadows? Cooper, no longer around. Her name's Amanda. Dr oh, Charles is rooting for the raptors again. Of course he is. They haven't eaten them yet, Charles, but soon the raptors will get their food. Will you guys do Sorted Online Fatal Bullet Complete Edition for Nintendo Switch? Probably not. Anything with guns is a no-no. In fact, I'll tell you guys something fun. Um, the other night, I was basically going and adding um, tons of cards and end screens to old videos. Our old Fatal Bullet series got hit with yellow markings, um, which means that it is no longer safe for advertisers. And I was talking to YouTube, and they said, well, uh, the name of the series is called Fatal Bullet, so you would need to change the name of it in order for us to give you monetization again. And I was like, that's the name of the game. And they're like, well, we'll look into it. Um, but a lot of the, the titles and the thumbnails, anything that had, like, gun or firearm or something like that, they demonetized. So, no, I, I'm not really going to go and look at those. Uh, right now, I am in a... Um... Okay. Sorry. Let me know before you're going to do that, because it's, it's throwing me... Distraction. It's Sorry very distracting, that. yeah. Yep. Um, 
I'm in a dispute process with about 15 Sword Art Online videos from the Fatal Bullet series. I think we're going to win the dispute. But even so, I mean, it's not like those those videos are making a lot of income anymore. Probably like maybe a dollar or 30 cents uh, a month. But, I mean, it all adds up when you have like six, 7,000 videos. So every little bit of income that we can still squeeze helps the channel out a month. And also, it's not good to have any videos yellowed out because it makes you a bigger uh, target for like copyright and stuff like that. So I need to get that stuff resolved. But I'm, I'm not going to go and try to um, basically go out of my way to look at games that I know are going to be um, difficult to fight YouTube over. I mean, I, I think I could still win this, but I don't know. And the reason why we didn't look at Damon X Machina, which I really wanted to that came out today, it, I've been looking forward to that game for some time because it's basically like a Nintendo Gundam game, but the company that made the game... Not the publisher, but the, the developers actually flagging channels uh, for not just copyright claim, but they are copyright striking channels that are playing this game. Uh, any aspect of it. And it's probably one of the coolest games to come out in years. But not many YouTubers are going to look at it because either you won't get any monetization for it, or you could face a copyright strike. And if you get one copyright strike, you can't live stream anymore. So. Yeah. Um, let's see. Oh, David was saying something in the chat about the Super Nintendo and how you have to download certain things on the Switch before it go gets off of... Like, you guys you guys have a limited time to download it or something? Let me just scroll, no. scroll back on it. You don't have a limited time to download the Super Nintendo thing. There's an NES app game you need to download right away. It's free and has some great NES games on it. If any of you own a Switch... Uh, oh, maybe you don't need... Maybe he's saying you need to download it right away because it's cool. Maybe that's what he's saying. Yeah, it's not... But, I mean, that that's going to be forever on the system if you are a paid online member. You get access to Super Nintendo games and NES games for free. Mm. Some pretty good ones, too. The Super Nintendo releases are really cool. Um, yeah, like, I don't know. We have some really interesting questions in the chat, but basically, um... People were wondering if we're introverts or extroverts. Um, I am an introvert, definitely. I don't I think, know what I am. I think Luke is a... Like, I've actually read some things online, like, that Luke is, like, an introverted extrovert, and I'm an extroverted introvert or something. So I am really... I like to be... I'm very shy around new people. Luke is very confident. Like, extremely confident. I'm extremely stressed out and shy when I meet new people. But then I push myself really hard to try to talk to people. And if Luke doesn't need to talk to anyone, he doesn't say anything because he doesn't feel like it. He just talks when he wants to. So he's a lot more confident than me. So we're complete opposites, but I think we work really well together. Yeah, of course we It's do. It's difficult to explain, but yeah. Mm -hmm. Um... Yeah. And I forgot what somebody was saying that they were content. They've tried uh, somehow like hanging out and making lots of friends with people. And now they're just a content loner. And I I don't know. I don't know if that question, that probably wasn't for us or anything. But I, I mean, I think people should just learn. I think they can be themselves. I don't see any problem with that. If you like hanging out at home and watching cartoons or watching whatever you like to watch on TV or just sewing or whatever, or, you know, hanging out with whatever hobbies you like. I don't know, but I don't think there's a problem with, like, being, hanging out on your own and doing stuff you like to do. I don't think, like, sometimes people in society saying, like, people shouldn't, people should always be at parties all the time talking incessantly with other people, but I don't think you have to do that. I think, yeah, I think you can just do whatever you like to do. Mm. Hey, come on. Bad. Okay, this should help. So, basically I'm trying to get rid of this uh, bone thing. Oh, I see. So this is how everybody's going to get through now. Clever. 
Alan, Mr. Fedora guy. Slice, slice, slice! And more story. I'm Mr. DNA, and I make learning fun. Uh oh. Eric! Hm. Eric's Overgrown. hideout. <laughs> oh, yeah! It's Eric safe. Kirby. I know a place we can hide. Alright, I guess that will be this guy. Alan? Alan is always getting stuck with kids in this. Yep. In these series. Hint, hint. I'm surprised Alan hasn't come back for any Jurassic Park Speak movie yet. Past, then I'll see if I can distract I him. None of the originals yeah. have come back other than Ian. You're right. Um. Oh. Wait, what do they want us to do? <laughs> Some characters are able to use camouflage to sneak around dinosaurs. Ooh, what's camouflage? Oh, oh that's my camo. Oh, wait, I can't. Uh, oh, I remember doing this level yeah, with you yeah, before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This level is ridiculous and annoying. Sometimes if you get out of your camo... At the wrong time, the dinosaur will get you. Which Charles should be happy about. Free lunch. Should I drop out or no? Probably, because the split screen is hurting my eyes. It's hurting my eyes, too. Sorry, I'll warn you next time I drop out. Thank you. I remember when they first introduced split screen, you were getting so dizzy that you were getting migraines from watching it. Yeah. This should do it. That almost ate Alan! <laughs> Way to go! He just literally kicked Alan as he ran. That should do. Oh my gosh. Yeah. What was I going to say? Oh yeah. So, uh, um, what was the original person? Um. Oh yeah. So Ellie, he never ends up marrying Ellie. No. Even though they hint at it so many times. He's always around kids. He's always being pushed to, you know, think about having kids. He's always being pushed in situations with Ellie. And then they never get together. It's so weird. I feel like they should have gotten together. It's weird. She didn't wait for him. Sometimes women don't wait. Yeah, like, I have to say, I'm he really... He put an emphasis on his career. That's why, I mean, I'm an... Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm really... old-fashioned. I believe that the most important thing that a man can do first is you get married, and then you go for your career. Yeah, and then our, everyone around us was always like, Oh, you guys are rocking the boat, and you guys are not doing things in the right order. But in reality, like, I think we're happier than most people around us our age and our friends and stuff that yeah, have, have gotten married and stuff. Like, even, even some of our cousins and other people we know have literally gotten divorced. And, like, they thought they would be together their whole life. And it's like, they they put their career first, so... It's kind of like whatever you put first is what's actually going to work out. Like whatever you con whatever like like there's like some kind of saying like whatever you water is going to grow or something. Well, so like I mean, if you concentrate on whatever you're focusing on is I will put in the most effort and that's going to succeed or whatever. Not spiders, all the time. But... Spiders. So one thing that spiders. I did I did too is um that I have that old school mindset, like the, and when I mean old school, I mean like really old, not just like what they did in the the 40s and the 30s, but like um, when I was speaking to, because I went to the the Puritan village in Plymouth. And, <laughs> yeah, that's and... right. You asked the you asked the you asked the cosplaying pastor in the Puritan village for advice. I did. That was <laughs> what funny. Are, 
Oh my gosh, you're so weird. I was I was already married. Really? Though. What was his advice I, though? Well, he says it was not uncommon for people like they they find their wife first before they find their their you know their trade. Um, and I actually look it up. There there has some historical significance to that. So it's kind of interesting. So like, huh? Cool. I'm going to win for you too. No, Eric, you fell down. Wee. Oh, so Cammy is a big a Fatal Bullet fan. She wants to know if she should try starting her own channel to play Fatal Bullet. Not on YouTube. Play it on Twitch. Twitch would be... Twitch is less crazy than YouTube. Uh, I was talking to Abdallah a while ago. He honestly believes that every company is going to be on, attacked Ashley. by the um, the COPA thing. But I've been looking into the COPA thing, the, the child-friendly act. Did you know that it's actually been in effect since uh, 2013? Like, these new um, child laws for entertainment have been in, in effect since 2013, and YouTube has basically been... They've been making money off, like, basically uh, targeted children's content. Like, those those weird cosplay channels where those people dress up in costumes and stuff, they made thousands and millions of dollars, like YouTube did off those. Um... So YouTube was breaking their rules. Channels that essentially... I'm not gonna... I mean, I hope I don't have to go to court to fight this kind of stuff next year. I might have to. But video games do not fall under that um, targeted for kids thing. So the fact that YouTube is going to go and literally target um, video game channels when they don't even know the own law. I mean, yeah, I might have to take YouTube to court just to save my channel. Because it doesn't fall into that category. Like, yeah. targeted stuff would be people that make, like, vlogs showing children's toys or wearing, talking to kids in, like, a, a sweet kind of voice. Like, you know, trying, basically acting like a kindergarten teacher in their videos. Those are targeted for kids. Yeah. People not swearing in videos, like, that's just freedom of speech. That's or, not. Like, here, I, I feel like here's the difference. Like, like, okay, you know, like, the old movies that we watched that were, like, in the 80s and stuff like that, that mm -hmm. your whole family could watch together, like, mm -hmm. classic movies, like, Back to the Future, Princess Ghostbusters, Bride. Yep. It goes, yeah. Princess Bride! Princess Bride, whatever. Um, if you have to include that. Princess Bride! <laughs> I'm just saying, these movies may have had, like, one or two very crass words in it, and the rest of the movie was completely family-friendly. Yep. And, like, that kind of movie is really, like, family-friendly for the entire family can enjoy. Mm -hmm. And that's the kind of movies that I remember kind of being brought up with, like, even in the 90s. Like, that's when you and I were really... I mean, right, I didn't remember much of the 80s because I was, like, a tiny child. But I'm just saying, like, but then we watched all those 80s movies because they were, you know, reruns of old movies and whatever. But, like... They don't, like, today, like, that's why I didn't like when they redid the Star Wars movies. The original Star Wars movies were kind of like that. It was like an Indiana Jones feel, where one or two crass words, and then the rest of the movie, like, pa there, basically it was for every age could enjoy right. the movie. There's a there's a point to this long-winded like uh, explanation. Yeah, but I'm just saying, like, the new movies that they did were, were targeted towards kids with Jar Jar Binks. Yeah. That's what I'm saying, like, like or or new movies like today where you have Dora the Explorer that's obviously a kids movie you wouldn't like you wouldn't have a bunch of twenty year olds go man let's watch Dora the Explorer but you would have a bunch of twenty year olds say hey let's watch Indiana Jones like there's complete difference but then you wouldn't like you could watch Indiana Jones with your kid who's seven years old there would be no problem with it. But if you were watching another movie, like a horror movie or something, you wouldn't want... That. I'm just saying, like, there's movies that everyone can enjoy, but aren't targeted towards kids. That was my point, but I took a long time getting there. You did take a very long time getting there. Why don't you continue with whatever you were saying? Sorry. So, <laughs> I'm just saying that I don't think it would be out of the ordinary if a bunch of channels ended up banding together to sue YouTube because they don't understand the COPA law. The COPA law has been around since 2013. It hasn't been ratified since 2013. And YouTube was a company that broke the agreement originally. And this 
they're just targeting things. Basically, I honestly believe that they are targeting channels that they don't want to pay anymore. They want to do whatever they can to minimize creators from making an income. And even this year alone, in September, all of YouTube gaming is down by 30%. They have a 30% oh, yeah. drop in views since the start of September. Everybody's affected by it. It's not just the, the kid-friendly channels. All of gaming took a hit. Yeah. So, what is this? I'm feeding a chocolate? Okay. Luke, I think you need to pick up this banana. Okay, I'll go do that. I think I accidentally put my cape mode on. You mean you put your invisible thing on? So then we just need a carrot. And I know YouTube thinks that they can't be sued, but... If they go ahead and they do this and they basically target people that aren't even breaking the law, then a, a lawsuit is very possible. Yeah, it, I mean... Because even though YouTube says it's like a, a private or a public company and they can't be sued, they've already been sued um, for doing some pretty shady stuff. Oh yeah, that's stuff. the whole reason why they're doing this, though, is because they got sued. Well, yeah. By other people. They got sued... Um, I forget who sued them. They got sued for targeting kids, basically. Yes. So now they are trying to get the money back from the creator. So basically they got sued by some company that said they were targeting kids. Which actually... Which they were. The reality was exactly what Luke and I said when we first started our channel. Which was people talking about really bad stuff. Like, oh, I went to this crazy party and we did all this stuff that you shouldn't be talking about. And you're talking about this on a video about Mario. That's the kind of content that Luke and I were very concerned about, which is why we started our one of the reasons why we we started our channel and made sure to never you know swear you know never talk about anything completely inappropriate like that. But we didn't really we didn't really talk about that kind of stuff anyway. Right, but so, we didn't. We we set out to make a see that you have to be very careful what you say because if you're gonna sue them, and then they go back and they say, well, we we wanted to make like a, a safe environment. It's like right there, you just said you made a targeted kids brand. No, so, I didn't though. Right, I know, but you have to be very careful how you word things. We actually didn't originally even. Yeah, but we were just. I mean, it's just weird. Yeah, I'm not gonna go into it. I don't even know why very we're very careful. I don't know why we... <laughs> Dinosaur! We shouldn't... Yeah. Oh, there's that one I was talking about with the mace tail. I forgot. Somebody in the chat knew what kind of dinosaur that was. Uh, I don't remember what kind that is, but I've seen this dinosaur quite a bit. They use this um, dinosaur in, like, animes, and um, he was in Dino Riders and Dino Saucers. Oh, are you the dinosaur right now? Yeah. Cool. I mean, I can't fight him with the humans, obviously. Oh, I do. I mean, I don't know. I, I, I feel obviously YouTube's gonna hear everything we're saying, so I actually have my own opinions about this. I don't know if I want to say them here because they're gonna listen to everything we're saying. So, but I, I do agree. I think they, I think they targeted the people that, you know, got paid the most per view, which are safe, you know, safe friends. Well, I mean, that's with any type of brand, though. I mean, because if you're if you're a brand that is able to appeal to everyone, you do make more money. That's just that's normal. It has nothing to do with being fair. It has to do with the advertisers are able to do without putting an advertiser at risk. It, yeah. it doesn't have to do with oh, this channel only has like four hundred thousand subs and they're making this amount of money. That's but, not fair. It like it's it's not a. <laughs> It, it's it, a capitalist thing. It's, it's It has nothing to do with what's fair and what's not. It has to it do with is, branding. But it actually is fair, Luke, though, because channels that don't have a lot of bad content in them also don't grow as fast because that was the whole point. When YouTube first started, people would put things in their videos for shock value, then their videos would grow tremendously, but they wouldn't get paid as much. Mm -hmm. So it was a trade-off that people were willing to do. Everything has been fair. But they wanted their cake and eat it too. So yeah. now the channels that were actually making money, they're not going to make as much anymore. Because, like, the advertisers have basically been well, bullied into leaving. But, look, it's okay. Like, we're just going to play this game and not worry about it. Yeah. Whoops. I missed a digging spot. Oopsie. 
All right, so I'm going to go back here and dig with Mr. Grant. So Every, everything is going to be fine. This is the part of the story where Eric basically saves Alan, and then he's going to meet up with his parents. But I'm pretty sure the dude who was paragliding with uh, the kid didn't make it. I think. I don't oh, remember. Yeah. So if you're going to look at the chat, you're going to have to drop out because I won't be able to really move too far ahead. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Somebody in the chat was calling me something I a long time ago about... Cutscene. Okay. Thanks a lot, Eric. You know who I am? The parents are here. They're looking for you. Hey, you're Alan Grant. What are you doing here? Your parents, uh, invited me along. Be careful with that. T-Rex scares some of the smaller ones away, but it attracts one really big one with a bin. Listen, Combies. Oh, that's right. He basically uses uh, T-Rex pee to uh, scare dinosaurs away, so he's a smart kid. Oh, I was just gonna. Oh, okay. I don't know who Doctor Wu is. Don't know. All right. Sorry, I missed your comment a while ago. Daniel said Doctor Wu appeared in both. Move drastic. Oh, Doctor Wu! I remember him. Yeah, he survived. But I mean, he's not really—he's not a main character. He was a sub character. I'm talking main character, like Alan. Ian, uh, he was in Congress warning people about the dangers of, um, you know, the dinosaurs. But that was yeah. it. He just, he kind of had like a brief little cameo. I, I'm, Dr. Wu, I think Dr. Wu had a more fleshed out role in the Jurassic World movies, but in the Jurassic Park movie, he was just like one of the people that worked for John Hammond. And he did survive. Ow. Okay, I'm supposed to. You have to throw, throw the. Y. You have to throw the T Rex grossness. Yeah. There we go. Good job, Alan. The only problem is if you keep throwing around the T Rex scent, you're gonna attract the uh, big the really? dinosaur with the fin. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Because your your stuff, well, uh, basically it's pee, but the T Rex scent <laughs> will ward off smaller dinosaurs, but it will attract bigger predators. You know for basically, uh, you know, bragging rights or a yeah. territorial battle type thing. I see what you're saying. So the reason why that finny dinosaur appeared quite a bit in the movie, which they did pretty clever, is because of the T-Rex scent that this little boy was using to stay alive. Clever girl. Except, you know, he's a, he's a oh, boy. Oh. <laughs> can you climb those, by the way? I want to see if you can climb. No. Why can none of us climb? No! Only Billy can. Me? You're oh. not. You're Eric. Wait, there are two brothers lost? No. 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 How was a tiny child paragliding? He was paragliding. Ah, paragliding with an adult. Oh, what happened to the adult? He didn't make it. Most adults don't make it. Really? It's Jurassic Park. How come all the kids always make it? Would it be disturbing if a child did not make it? <laughs> I will make a Jurassic Park movie where a kid doesn't make it, and then I will be crucified by the censors. <laughs> would you do that for me? It would make the most sense that the child wouldn't survive, and an adult would. Because they would be the weakest. <laughs> oh I know. No offense, kids. Oh my gosh. What have you made? What have you made a Jurassic Park movie where the baby didn't survive? <laughs> a tiny little baby. Oh my gosh! I'm getting so dark. I would also have like more women get eaten by the dinosaurs because like that's exactly what I was thinking. In this, like in this well, day no, and age, because I can't run as fast as you in general. Well, yeah, that's that's one of my arguments would be like I would. It would be like, I'd have a very diverse cast. I'd have more people there. Every, you got to either oh. drop out or throw the urine. Fine. Fine. All right, I'll throw it. If you can read comments. I don't like saying can't. the word, Luke. I'm throwing the scent. Okay, whatever. Um, I would make sure that I had more like men and women equally, and the women would get eaten, and then the... Uh... Also... Oh, continue. I don't like being interrupted. Um, then I would have, like, the censors, or not the censors, the critics would be like, this movie is horrible to women, <laughs> and then I would be like, and well, children. actually, the movie has both children and women, and men eaten, 
And there is a, a female hero and a male hero that both survive. But yes, all the other characters were eaten by the dinosaurs. Because, well, it makes sense. The dinosaurs, they are equal opportunity, like, you know, carnivores. Can I can I add one more thing I would like to see? I I wouldn't damage pets though. If there was a dog in my movie, the dog. Oh, would be that's fine. where you draw the line. That's where I draw the line. <laughs> All right. Well, Peta is scary. I mean, they will come after you. But at the same time, I mean, who cares? Um, I have to say, could you please add guys screaming like little girls? Because in reality, guys are not that manly when there's like bad situations. They would also be screaming in regular <clears> their lives. What? what? No. I want to hear men. Scream in a squeaky voice like it's scared. Because in reality, I've seen you with a spider, Luke. I know men don't have a manly voice when they're truly scared. I know what your voice sounds like. What? No. I know what your voice sounds like when there's a spider around. Ah. No, that's not your scream. No, it's not. That is not your scream. Well, I mean, I have a different scream for spiders and clowns. Uh, yeah, one specifically. Yeah. Yes, I, I, Luke, would you do that for me? What? On our, like, 20th what? anniversary, I want to see you make a, a Jurassic Park movie where children don't make it. Um, women, maybe a bus of nuns. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's a great idea. <laughs> oh bus of nuns gets eaten by a T-Rex. And Jurassic Park. <laughs> Uh, uh, city edition. No. And I, it, it would be my personal request that a man would have a manly scream. I, I mean a womanly scream. Ah! No, no, throw, not like that. Throw, no. the, throw, throw it, throw it. Thank you. Now I can dig. Dig, dig, dig. <laughs> you were almost about to sing. I'm gonna have to no. go. I'm gonna have to go get that Seven Dwarfs song and sing it. I'm gonna have to do a video where I just sing the song. There's a boat, right alongside the bank. Looks in good shape. Listen. What? It's my dad's satellite phone. Now they find him. Mom! Dad! Now they find the other guy. <laughs> dad! Mom! Eric! Wait, did dad! they take that part out of the movie? He must have had it when he... Oh, yeah, this scene. He didn't make it? The dinosaur ate him. Oh, yeah, the phone. The phone is inside of the dinosaur. That's how they were always able to know where it was. Oh, my gosh. So creepy. Yep. Hey, Nash, you want to pick up the phone? Oh, wait. Can't. I think that's what it is. Am I correct, guys? Am I am I correct in that assumption? The uh, Nash got eaten. Did Nash get eaten, peeps? Did Nash get eaten? People are wondering what killed the dinosaurs. The Ice Age. That's right. The Ice Age. Ah, ah, ah. Okay, wife, would you feel more dominant with a spear or a trident? I, I think a spear because tridents, like, I feel like I would be a little bit evil if I had a trident just because, let's just say Aquaman is not the only character that we know that holds a trident. Wait, like, what? I don't want to be... You know the other person that holds a trident! I do? It's like a pitchfork. That's not a trident. That's a pitchfork. No, it's the same thing. No, almost. it's not. No. It's That's a... why I would feel weird holding a trident. It looks like a pitchfork, and it looks like I would be completely evil. Well, you are, but I mean... With horns and stuff. I don't... Yeah, that's, I think... that's a pitchfork. It's I not... think I feel like I would rather have a spear. I don't want to be seen as evil, but I would like to conquer the world and make my enemies beg for mercy, but I don't yeah, want to be that, evil. That's, that's, that's being evil. I just want to appear good. I'll make some sp political speeches about what a great person I am yeah, after I conquer some people. Don't don't run for office. I Why? thought I thought Ellie is in this movie. Where where is she? Rule number one of conquering the world: if 
you make your enemies disappear, you don't have to worry about what they say about you because they won't be there to say anything negative about you. Uh, <laughs> wow, that reminds me of a... <laughs> Wait, I can't say that, family. I can't. Oh, yeah. I... Oh, my gosh. I know who you're talking I about. I know. Oh, my gosh. I, I know. Just, I just made their... <laughs> Oh, a a certain uh, political couple, yeah. Dangerous. Dangerous oh, if you disagree with them. Pitchfork has more than three prongs. Yeah, see, it's not a <laughs> trident. Charles says never cross the amber on a bad day. That's actually good advice. <clears throat> Careful with your throat. Sorry. Thank you, t uh, Tyree. So these videos are cool. Thank you. I appreciate that. Oh, how do you get in here? You guys are cool. You guys are breathtaking. Oh, hang on, honey. What? Nothing. I'm trying to. Whoa! Whoa! What in the world? I mean, why would you have her go up here if there's nothing here? Can I come in? No, not yet. I'm trying to. Wouldn't you just go where the arrow? Ah, is? wait. Wait, how did I get inside? I'm confused. Why wouldn't we just go where the arrow says? It glitched! What are you it doing? It glitched! I'm so confused. Oh my gosh, it glitched! I don't know what you're talking about. Let's just go where the arrow says. I have to leave. I, I can't. It, this is You're not supposed to be in here yet. They went through it. Uh, can I come in and try to help? Or do we have to keep watching you struggle? No, gonna... If you come in... Hopefully they'll follow us outside because if they're stuck inside the house, then... I don't, I don't know where we're supposed to go. All right. The guy with the generator is supposed to be... You don't understand. They phase through the house. Okay. Can I Can I try to come in? If you come in, if you come in, you're going to be stuck in the house. We have to leave. Okay. okay there, there they are. Now you can come all right. in. Okay. Oh, great. Let's all... Let's all... Not worry about things. It's not. It's not about being calm. And oh, I know. I know. If you would have come in, you would have been stuck in a game-breaking glitch. I know. You actually saved us from a game-breaking glitch. I'm aware of this. All right. So. High five. I don't want to high five. I'll just high five myself. How did you? Oh, it's a teamwork thing. Um, where's Alan at? Yes, game-breaking glitches happen in uh. This type of things. Okay, so it's a teamwork thing. Now, where's Mr. Mustache Man? <laughs> Master Sword says, K-Wife is actually Edelgard. LOL. She has the same goals. Take over the kingdom by force to challenge the way the world works. Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, if no one will listen to your opinion, how else are you going to get it across whoa, to people? Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> I may have some problems. Some? Fine. When I... Never mind. I'm not going to talk about this. I'm not going to discuss this. Hey! It's not fair that in the school they have you read biographies of emperors of Rome. Because it does things to you as a child. I'm just saying. Uh, there we go. Okay, that could have been bad. We have Smash Brothers to do after we're done with this. No, it's... Peace is better, guys. Be peaceful. another ten more years. What if they catch us with them? What if they catch us without them? There's a boat at the bottom, just down river. I'm trying to make it to the coast, at least. That's a good point. What if they catch us without them? Oh, that's right. Part of the reason the dinosaurs was after him is because he had the eggs. Yep, so he needs the eggs if the dinosaurs catch them. What is it? To give them the eggs. It's a bird cage. Oh, no! Yay! Oh my gosh, I I didn't mean to laugh, it's just he was Dinner small. time He was small enough to pick up a small child. Oh, it's, it's, 
I did remember it was kind of freaky when uh, that one dinosaur... Amber, please. Okay, all right, all right. Just, I'm coming. You're making the stream last longer than it needs to. Sorry. If you want to comment, comment. I'm, yeah, I'm just going to watch you for a little bit. Because it's, it's jarring to not be able to control the characters. Okay, I'm sorry. It's okay. I, I have to ag uh, address my grievances publicly because, you know... There's no other way of telling you. Otherwise, otherwise, you'll just glare at me, and I'll have no idea what you're doing. I'll be like, oh, you have a headache? <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> I'm like, I'll sit here clueless. Ah! Nice. Alright, where is Billy? Billy. Oh my gosh. I think we're getting near the end of Jurassic Park 3 now. I just, I don't know. Pretty close. Yeah. Okay, now I need to build a bridge for the girl to walk when, over. When that pterodactyl picked up that child, it made me think of something, but I don't think I'm supposed no, to say oh it. Oh my gosh. It's just something that happened in the news. <laughs> I don't know if I should talk about it. Are you it. talking about that bird that picked up that child? Yes! Yeah, I knew you were talking about Oh my about gosh! Me. And then, like, some of the people didn't believe the mother. She was like, the bird literally dragged her kid across the ground for a long time and tried to pick it up and take it to its nest. And then they were like, no, that couldn't be possible. It's like... It wasn't a bird. It was like an eagle or something. That a, is a bird, though. It was really big. It was huge. Yeah. It's not your normal size! I think you had to double jump there. Yeah, oh, I, reali I realize that now. No, you were right. How, did, how do you watch the same weird news things as me? You have them on. Oh, my I, God. I have very good hearing. Oh, Oh my gosh. Sometimes I wish I did not. Yeah, you're just like, just why? Why me? Why me? Why me? She was such a cute, like, little girlfriend, and then she was an adorable fiancé, and then when she became a wifey, well, then you got to know that Amber was a little weird. Hey, when... No, sometimes, like, when yeah. I'm trying to get my mind off of bad things or things that are happening to me, I want to, like, shock myself out of it, so I watch something really weird that makes me... Like take my mind off of it. Sometimes the things that make my make me take my mind off of it are like really. Weird. You always had very interesting things to talk about, honey. Oh, you know I did. I want. I read like twenty books on different like uh, like you know. Amber's big thing when we were dating was and engaged to cryptozoology, and one of her favorite shows to watch when we were first married was a show called The Secret Saturdays. Oh yeah. Because mm -hmm. that's what it was all about. And mm -hmm. then I was. But you know that if you actually get. There is no degree in cryptozoology because they're yeah, considered I, freaks. I know, Amber. Believe me, I know. And I was like, how come there isn't? How come it's not a regular degree? It's like. Because Reasons. there is no degree for hunting gnomes. <laughs> There's no. You cannot get a degree for that. Overgrown chicken. <laughs> with good reason. Alright, so he is going to help us with this. Yeah. Really? Her? Alright. Oh, that's Ellie. Shoot. No, when 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 the, the the small child got picked up by the bird, I was just thinking about when I was a little girl I really wanted to move to Alaska. But then I I, I heard that like the winds in Alaska are so strong they can be like fifty four miles an hour. Mm -hmm. And if you're a child you can get blown off the edge of like the land See, into she the talks, water. She talks about fun things, guys. And then I then I was like, I don't know if I wanna go to Alaska anymore because like apparently if you're small enough, like anyway. Can you believe that The Secret Saturdays was almost 10, 10 11 years ago, that show? I loved that show. I, I'll have to find it for you on DVD. I don't know if they've ever released the yeah. whole show. And most of Luke's friends and family thought I was normal until, said I, until I actually started like talking and then, then I learned to not talk anymore because nobody liked me. I like you. That's all that matters. I appreciate that. I do. Oh, before I forget, guys, um, Smash Brothers Versus is back tomorrow, except it'll be on Sans or Sans. Uh, the Banjo-Kazooie videos didn't do as well as we thought they were going to do. Yeah, but that's not all I look up. I also look up a lot of archaeological things. Yeah, I do. I know you do. I look up, like, ancient ruins and things like that of different, like, civilizations. I'm just curious about everything. 
Did you notice how the third movie introduced dinosaurs that weren't available in the other movies to keep things fresh? So the third movie, mm. you had the Spinosaurus and the other uh, kind of dangerous dinosaur that they dealt with besides the T-Rex was basically like a pterodactyl. Yeah. Well, look, the reason why I'm always interested in... Oh, okay, yeah, that's pretty interesting. Sorry. No, that's not what I mean. You're, you're going over your points again. No, I was just going to talk about something why I was always interested in interesting things, but... Okay. It, you can, I, I'll find a way up for you I was just well. saying, like, my my gram my grandpa spent most of his life in China and my other grandpa spent most of his life in South America, so of course I've always interested in other things. Yep. Because you like to learn a lot. Mm -hmm. Alright, so we need to use Billy's uh, parachute thing to go over here. And then I think we have to push this down. Ah, I'm getting it now. I'm starting to understand. I don't remember what happens to Billy in this movie. I think him having the eggs becomes his downfall. Like, I think he's, like, the first main character that doesn't make it. Wait, who's Billy? The little tiny child? No, that's Eric! <laughs> Billy is Alan's assistant! The guy who stole the raptor eggs. The guy with the parachute. <laughs> Let's see, because I don't remember him very well, I'm pretty sure he must die. I don't know. Okay, they can't break up a couple, so we've got the one lady and her... Wait... I'm- I swear Ellie's supposed to be in the third movie. Where is she? This is getting crazy. I don't know. I know she- unless she just comes back no, for the no. very end of the movie. She's in the beginning, and then she doesn't want to go with him because I thought she has a kid or something. Oh! Like, she just has a cameo in the beginning and explains why she's not going. It's kind of like, um, in that one movie where they explain she, Wait, she just has a cameo? In the very beginning, I thought. She just is like, no, I have a family now. And Alan is like... Oh, Alan asks her to go with him? I don't know. I thought that's what happened. The chat is probably saying it. But you said I'm like... I got talking. this. You can, like, you can concentrate on it. You can look on the chat now. You're not playing the game. So you can do that without slowing the gameplay down. I'm curious to know if that's... Cause you know, I'd like to know if my mind is working correctly. Yeah, it reminds me of that thing with, um, what do you call it? What's mm. that Jackie Chan movie with Chris Tucker? Where they... The were, Rush Hour series? Yeah, where they have that terrible explanation of, of what they missed because it would have been so many years. And they're like, oh, why were you here on that beach that whole time? Oh, I don't know. Why were you always in your city that you were doing your thing? And they're like, man, if only we had, you know, gotten together sooner. But it was an explanation why they hadn't, like, done the next Rush Hour movie for, like, years. Jackie didn't want to do it. I, I and know. And also, Chris, know, Chris it... Tucker kept, like, dragging the ball. Like, Jackie had a clear timetable to do it, and Chris I, Tucker wouldn't do it. I know, but, like, they had that really awkward conversation in Rush Hour 2 where they're trying to explain the backstory of the characters, and it doesn't make any sense. I thought that was Rush Hour 3 they were explaining. Okay, I don't know. But I know they're sure. finally making a Rush Hour 4, but I don't think Chris Tucker and Jackie are going to be in, like, a starring role. I think they're in a co-starring role, like a mentor role for the new cast that I believe they're two girls. A Chinese girl and a uh, American girl. At least that's what I've heard from the premise. I don't know if that's true or not. Which I, I hope not. I don't like that they're doing that. I would, I would prefer... I think the public would rather prefer, instead of a Passing of the Torch movie... They'd like one more adventure with Jackie and Chris. That's this dinosaur on inside the parachute. That's a nice touch. Yep. Grab on, Eric! Oh, that's right. Ben gets Chase. Or Billy does. I can't remember anyone's name. Yeah, Billy's gone. Okay, somebody said someone gets seriously injured but doesn't die. Oh, the... F wait... The father dies? 
Oh, I think he has to be brave and like... No, I don't think he dies. I think he saves the day. Or he tries to. Billy's gone now. Alright, um... Are you guys gonna do Jump Force to show off Buck, Bakugo and Boo? Um, we can try to do some Jump Force videos again. We're gonna be recording Smash Brothers tonight. And then, sometime this month, guys, I'm hearing that a new Dragon Ball Fighter character is coming out. I believe it's uh, Gogeta. <coughs> uh, Gogeta from the uh, Broly movie. Um, K-Wife, did you know Ben 10 Omniverse actually had a secret Saturday crossover? Yes, it did. I did not know that. Yep. That's awesome. Uh, K-Wing, will you play Luminous Avenger IX when it comes out? Uh, if we have time. If not, I will stream it. John Doe says, Billy gets seriously injured by the pterodactyls, but he actually survives. Oh, wow. That's a twist. That's awesome. Uh, Master Swords says, K-Wife, who is your favorite conqueror of Rome or Greece? LOL. I think you'd be Spartan. I love Spartans, but I don't think I would make the cut because they'd be too tough, and I literally wish I was that tough, but I don't think I could be. Um, I'm gonna go with Alexander the Great yeah, was probably right. one of the best people, but I think some of the Persian emperors were pretty good. Um, I also, for all the Roman conquerors, I would say Julius Caesar was my favorite, because I feel like, I don't feel like he should have been... I don't feel like they should have, um, like, I feel like he was very misunderstood. I, I don't feel like the senator should have done away with him. I never felt like, because I think they didn't understand, like, basically, like, they said he had too much power. But in reality, he was ruling, like, with another guy. And then that guy was crazy. So he... Ouch. That guy wasn't listening to his opinion, so of course he had to conquer all of Rome. And then it was way better when he was just ruling on his own. And I think that's what came, kind of gave me my my idea for like, hey, if you don't agree with... But I do feel like in that way, he did... He actually did a better job ruling on his own. But I, I really don't think violence is ever the answer. But Ouch. I don't know. It, I, I just do it all in jest. I really don't think I would ever, ever conquer anyone, mostly because I don't have a spear. Secondly, because we don't live in that age anymore. But I, I do feel like he did a good job. Amber would be a conqueror if, if it was during that time. He would be like one yeah. of those Viking princesses. Yeah, I think the Spartans were amazing. But yeah, I think Alexander the Great, he was very... He was very fair and just, and he tried to do the right thing and treat people kindly. And so did Julius Caesar, actually. Whoops! But most of the people after him, after Augustus, were pretty bad, like Nero and stuff. But Julius Caesar, I thought, I think if they had not done away with him, he could have actually done a better job, like, continuing the line and helping the next emperor of Rome to do a better job. Instead, they just did away with him right away. And then they just kept, they kept trying to do away with the next emperor, making every situation worse and worse after that. Anyway, that's my opinion, but whatever. I don't- it doesn't really matter. <laughs> I mean, it was so long ago, but I think it's interesting. I think it's fascinating. You were there. The, the fact that people say that when Julius Caesar actually was done away with, people, like, were crying and wishing he was still there. Um, there were many different people groups that other people mistreated that he actually treated fairly. Uh, he actually made the world a better place for a lot of people. Also, one thing that Julius Caesar did that his opponent didn't do was his opponent said, anyone who's not for me is my enemy. And Julius Caesar, when he was taking over all of Rome, when he was fighting this other guy to, to take over, he actually said, well, if you want to be neutral, that's okay. Like, I understand that. Like, you know, and I thought, wow, that's pretty cool. He allowed people to not be involved in the fight if they didn't want to be. So, I, I felt like he was an okay guy, but he was probably a jerk in real life, to be honest. Alright, where are we? <laughs> We're fighting a giant dinosaur. Uh. <laughs> Alright, now... Oh, a few more barrels. That means it's time for... Ah, what in the world just happened? 
stupid little raptor thing. Let's back off. Ah, no! Switch. Ethan says, this is Sparta! That's right. Okay, so what am I going to make? Like a... Oh, it's a bouncy thing. So okay. yeah, anyway. Yes! So at this part of the game, more or less what we have to do is throw the barrels into the water where that whoa where that thing is and then blow it up kind of cool so you're gonna be like the really like manly you know husband guy the husband actually steps, steps it up steps it up takes care yeah. of business totally. not only does he have a home business but uh you know <laughs> he's not he's not actually a wealthy guy like they use all of their money I think they sell their house and everything in oh, order to find their son. Really? Yeah, they're not they're not a wealthy couple. That's wow. that's the whole thing about the movie is you think that they're like this um a couple that's jet setting across the world uh in order to they were just this normal normal like small business owners. I'm trying to remember what type of business they owned. I think he's a mechanic. Everyone's saying finish him. Trying to. You can do this, K-Wing. I really thought the dad was going to get eaten, though. Joshua says, make a mental note, Luke. Don't make K-Wife the president of the U.S. President or dictator or whatever, yeah. I don't really like the term president because there's not enough. Never mind. <laughs> it's over! <laughs> it's still not over? In your face! Watch out, Dad! Dad! I'm not going anywhere! Oh my gosh! He made it back! I forgot. <laughs> I haven't watched the movie in forever! That was nice. Here. I want the eggs. Otherwise, we'd be dead already. Get they're, the eggs. They're gonna kill them anyway, I feel like. I'm just so nervous about this. No, 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 no. Call for help. Yeah, you never know if the raptor call actually worked or not because a helicopter comes. And then we get to meet Ellie's husband. I love movies that have like a little mystery to that because you never know what it was. Never know what it was, yeah. Yep. Yeah, guys, we're going to be finishing uh, Jurassic Park 3 tonight if you're wondering why the stream's a little bit longer. People don't have school tomorrow, so that's why uh, the stream's lasting a little bit longer. But we're almost done with Jurassic Park 3. I think. Uh, Binary Man says, Caitlin, do you know DC Universe has Batman-related gear in honor of Batman Day? Yep, but I don't have money anymore, so... <laughs> I wish this stuff existed back when my YouTube stuff was doing better. Because, yeah, I would love um, some cool Batman gear. But... Uh, Master Sword said, did you see the, ca the cast for the Suicide Squad movie? Yes, I know all about the cast. But I don't know who's playing what yet. And Master Sword says, don't get too attached because many of these characters might not make it out. I know! Sadness. Amber. Yeah, this is the end. I 
don't remember. Why did they have the little kid out there? I think they just added that. I'm gonna have to double check. I don't know if Billy lives or not. This is making me want to watch the movies again. Wait, that's not... There was another scene! You're supposed to find out how the helicopters got there. Maybe it's after this. Mm, no. Maybe it's an after credits scene. No, that was the end credits. That was Jurassic Park 3. Because Alan is talking to the guy and he's like, Oh, wait. Because I'm pretty sure Ellie's with them. I don't remember. Now I'm going to have to watch it. Or at least watch the ending scene on YouTube or something. Yeah, um, it, it, you know, crazy. I have to know. In the, Daniel said in the film, Billy was already in the helicopter when they got there. Yeah. And Ellie calls in the military to save Alan and everyone else, Kaylee, from John Doe. Yeah, that's true. Ellie actually Ellie does did something in yeah, the end. Ellie does it. So she's basically not in the movie except for the very beginning, very end. Right. I really feel bad for Alan. Yeah, you never find out what happens to Alan at the end. Like, he's well, just kind of, you I know. Just, I feel like. I just feel bad that Ellie's with somebody else. It just makes me really upset. Like, what's the point? Well, if she wasn't with him, uh, well, oops. Yeah. God, that guy is like half eaten. I just, I feel like, this is what I feel. I feel like the actress who played Ellie probably had other stuff to do. So she filmed like two tiny scenes and then made out and then they wrote some lame I don't even know who the actresses were back then. Like, I don't even I don't know if know. they were famous actresses. Look, I think we actually did finish that film. Yeah, I know we did. I'm just gathering some of the characters that got eaten. Cammy says thank you both for the wonderful streams you made. Aww, Our streams are kind of weird, Cammie. but thank you, Cammy. Uh, someone wrote, is there anything people can do to help you financially, K-Wings? Um, we have a Patreon, and you guys can use the join button, which is like, um, it's like $5 a month or something, and it, it helps support this channel. You get a little icon by your name. Mm -hmm. We also have a Patreon where we have been trying to do movie commentaries, but we haven't been doing a lot because Luke has been working kind of day and night to try to keep the channel going. I've had to produce more content to keep our video views consistent, so I haven't had a lot of time for extra things, unfortunately. So It's it's not like I'm trying to be like, "Okay, people, I'm I'm stiffing you your movie commentary." It's like I just don't have the the time to do any additional stuff because I have to basically release the same amount of videos every day and live streams in order to keep our views consistent because they basically uh, the biggest struggle for us is YouTube stopped counting all our viral videos. We don't get paid for those anymore. So even if you see a video that's like 10 million views, yeah, a couple years ago, we probably made like $300 a month on just that one video. Now we make about 50 cents a month on that one video. So it's big difference. Thank you, Ethan. Says I love I love your streams, Luke and Amber. Thank you very much, Ethan. Thank you for the kind words. I do have some good Thanks news to share support. with you guys, though. After speaking with uh, YouTube representatives and uh, our network, um, before they thought that our channel was targeted for kids, so we were going to be 75 to 80 percent impacted by uh, their new policy in January 2020. But after looking over our channel and seeing that we do. Uh, mostly T-rated games the past six years or so. Um, we are not going to be heavily impacted. We're still going to be impacted for things we did for like Disney Infinity and some other things, but it's not going to be as bad to the point where we'll be completely demonetized. Um, things are going to be rough, but they're not going to be impossible. So like when new games come out, like uh, the Dragon Ball Z game and some other things, we'll be able to play those games without our channel being uh, demonetized completely. Which is, it's actually comforting to know something like that. But still, the fact that they're trying to view us as a channel that targets children is wrong. And yes, I do want to sue them because it's 
we, we don't do that. Master Sword says, yeah, you guys do have strange dreams, but Aver goes on rants about Greece con ah, Greek conquest, so that makes it fun. Mm. <laughs> Thanks, Master Sword. And Joshua says, I'm getting nostalgic from when I watched Jurassic Park movies, and I went to Universal Studios in Orlando, Florida. Awesome. That's cool. And uh, thank you guys all for the really nice, kind words. Uh, Gamer026 says, yeah, you guys really are, your streams really are entertaining. So then, um, yeah, if you guys see the little icon next to Ruga and Charles, they are members. Um, there's a lot of other channels that have a lot more members than us, but, I mean, we've never, like, wa we really appreciate people who have become members and also people who have helped us out on Patreon. And um, Ruga just put the Patreon link in there. We haven't really been pushing that so far because Luke and I never really wanted people to have to, like, you know, d you know, help us out in that way. But because YouTube keeps changing their policies, we are getting to the point where maybe we wouldn't survive unless we have our members and things like that. Just so you guys know, there's going to be more perks for members coming soon. Um, and the more members we have, the more cool emojis that we have. You guys get special emojis. We're trying to work on... The more members we have, the more special stuff we can do for people. Um, so we're really thankful for the people who have kind of been the first members and have been members for a long time. And we are working on more perks for you guys. Um, it's just that Luke is, uh, having to work really hard because of the YouTube thing, but... You know, we're going to have more and more emojis and hopefully some members only uh, community streams, which we're trying to do that. Um, and, you know, in general, just whatever we can do to try to make our members happy and our Patreon members. So, mm -hmm. yeah, um, Charles is saying, ooh, perks. Yeah, we'd really like to have a stream where it's only members. But hang we don't we don't have enough members to really do that. Hanging really. out with us, playing something like Mario oh. Kart. Maybe we could do members only, um, Minecraft, <laughs> I don't uh. know, uh, 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 some of the other games, what are the uh, games that Luke really doesn't want to play? said Minecraft, why? Not just Minecraft, but, um, what is that other game that Fortnite and some other stuff like that would be cool. Whatever you guys, whatever you members want to do, um, you know, just so we can get some more, like, kind of one-on-one -on -one time with Luke and hanging out and also a lot of other creators what they do is they do like a members only chat or like on the breaks like they'll turn the chat so it's only members can chat for a while during certain breaks and then they can ask Luke whatever oh yeah some, I think we have the ability to do that some, some channels with like millions of subscribers they can't really get to all the questions and things like that or if they're playing a game if you guys have ever watched Luke play a game late at night where he can't really see the chat because he's concentrating on the game. In that kind of stream, he wouldn't really be able to see the chat, but then during the break, he could turn on just the members-only chat, chat with the members for a while, then turn off his members-only chat, and then go back to playing the game. So that would give the members like some really cool, just like basically more personal access to, to everything. Uh, so we're just trying to figure out what we can do for our members because we really do appreciate you guys and you guys do deserve perks. So right now we've just enabled the member only chat just to show you guys. So right now only members uh, can chat just for a minute and just show you guys what it is. Um, like Amber said, when I'm doing stuff like Arkham streams or some other stuff and uh, members trying to get a hold of me or, you know, the people that I'm really thankful for sponsoring the channel, then you can see uh, who the members are and, you know, it's just kind of a cool little thing. Yeah, I really, I think, I I didn't even know you knew how to do that, so you should do that more often. They just added it recently. Oh. I, I didn't have the option of doing that. Oh, okay. Okay. There was there was a very uh, difficult way of doing that before. So as you can see, we only have two or three members like, that are right here that are so, right here we do have more members but they're not in the chat we have right about now. 23 30 so like yeah we have some really cool um emojis and hopefully we'll get some more but we do really appreciate our members and also we do what i really wish we could do what i really wish we could do is connect the members and patreon 
to the point where if you're paying for membership, you should automatically be that tier in Patreon. And I don't know how to do that. Right now, they're you can't, completely disconnected. You, you can't do that because they're two competing services. Also, one really weird thing YouTube does is literally if people give us a, a donation, for which we're very thankful for those, like, they will not... You, like, like, say, when we used to do donations for mm. this channel, like, original, before they did this super chat thing, um, the donations for our PayPal will go right to PayPal. So if Luke and I could not pay our, you know, electric bill for all the videos that were going up, and somebody donated money, then we could pay our electric bill the next day from... Or in two days, actually, after our processes from PayPal. Mm -hmm. But now, because if someone does a super chat, we have to wait two months to get that. So, like, it's kind of frustrating because, like, like we're... I mean, I'm very thankful. Like, I'll be really extremely thankful. Like, thank you so much. But then in my head, I'm thinking, oh my gosh, I have to wait for two months for this. <laughs> Which I'm very thankful for, but at the same time, it's not you guys' fault. I don't know why YouTube kind of does all they can to make things kind of frustrating. But having said that, when Luke and I, before Luke and I did YouTube, we were both working three jobs. Yep. Um, I was working at the bank. I worked at an insurance agency. I worked as a cashier at a super Walmart, which was, my arms were in pain for the, I had hundreds of people go through my line a day. Um, I worked till 3 a.m. at Burger King. I have worked, I, I went to school to become a medical assistant, which kind of didn't really work out, but I kind of still have that training. I got my certificate in graphic design, but that kind of, that kind of, the reason why I got my certificate in graphic design was because I, I think I really decided by then I really wanted to help Luke and his channel, so I really wanted to do something, so that's why I did that. But, I mean, like, Luke and I were trying, before we did YouTube, Luke and I were like any other kind of couple that sees each other, works themselves to death, and then basically sees each other at the beginning of the day and sees each other at night and that's it. And they just can't really see each other that much because they're always working. But when we did YouTube, yeah, we were actually working harder than any job we'd ever done. This didn't work very well. I tried to use a forklift to do a race. <laughs> but oh, the thing, funny. the difference between... The great thing about YouTube, if you guys ever end up doing it, if it's ever still around in 10 years, whatever. I'd be amazed if it's still around in 10 years. Or if there's a website similar to it. If you can ever work from a website from home, the greatest thing about it is the difference between Luke and I working all these jobs, you know, versus working for ourselves kind of on YouTube, is that we got to see each other every day. Mm-hmm. Like, if I was having a bad day, like, when I'm at my job, I couldn't oh, just... You got a super chat, Amber. I couldn't just ask Luke for a hug, but my favorite part about YouTube is I got lots of hugs. Thank you so much, Ruga! He says two months! It's like a month and a half. How much is the paycheck delayed? Um, it's about two months. Yeah, it is. So Thank what, you what for the super chat, Ruga! What we're making right now, we'll get in September's pay, we'll get close to November. So, Something like, like Luke and I, we worked harder than we ever did at any job. Like, okay, if you're working a regular job, once you are done with the job, then you go home, you relax, and then you can go to bed. But, like, with YouTube, it's like... You work for the day... Then, after you're done working, then you have to go on your analytics page, try to figure out what is going on with it, try to figure out what's wrong, why your videos aren't getting a certain amount of views, try to ask a million other people, try to figure out what's going on, and then try to change that, and try to figure out what to do next so that you can change the situation so that you can either appeal more to the people watching or maybe uh, change the tags so that things look correct for YouTube for their end or maybe just like see a lot of it is just going like 
it's funny because one of the reasons I never wanted to be a teacher was because there's all this homework that I never wanted to do. But hilariously enough, ironically, that's exactly what you're doing when you do YouTube as a job. You work and then you have all this homework. You have to figure out, you know, what, you know, what's best for your audience and what games are coming up. And, and then, of course, before when Luke and I first started YouTube, we didn't have a PR manager. Right now, we're we're paying our PR manager like one tenth of what we paid him originally. Oh yeah, he's like, still with us. Literally, like he's making. I don't even want to say how much we're paying him because it's so little that like it just feels like we're just throwing like a few like things at him. I don't even know why he's still working for us. He actually offered to continue working for us without pay, and there's no way. No, he does way too much. Like, but the reality is, the the little amount, like, if you guys guessed how much we were paying him, you would probably guess too high. Mm -hmm. Like, and I'm talking, like, when we first brought him on, when we, when we were making, when we were doing Disney Infinity, you know, it was, you know, we were paying him, like... A living wage. We really weren't even paying him that, though. He was just part-time, and we weren't even paying him very much then. Uh, you know what I'm talking about. Yes, we were. Okay, I don't remember. When he first started, it was he was, it was making a, a living wage, and then he went to half of a living wage. Oh, yeah, and then it's gone half of that, and, and now then half of that, money. and then half of that. Yeah. Now it's like, it's like, it's like less than how much I get for groceries. Yep. You can't even buy groceries for that amount. No, you can't. He lives in the south, so oh, yeah, yeah, he, he can if buy groceries south. for that. Where did the banana go now? So, and this guy works tirelessly day and night to. Before we hire, before we had a PR guy, we had companies literally getting mad at us because we never got back to them because we couldn't. Yep. Because unlike you know, other people like the Game Grubs or something with a team of 50 people, Luke and I were just Luke and me. They have 25 people, not 50. All right, well, I didn't know. And Completionist has about, like, seven. I thought they had more originally. Not that I know of. Still, that's that's a lot of people. They've got, like, four editors, and, you know. Yeah. I mean, and... Yeah, so, I mean, we... this This guy literally... He knows how to talk to people. Luke and I would try to talk to developing company developers and stuff like that. Different people, like you know, we're trying to write a letter to Sega asking them if we could take a look at their games, saying that we're a, you know, a publication and stuff like that. Because Luke had worked for several different uh, game publications, so you know he was used to asking for the games and things like that. I mean, it takes a long time to learn that kind of stuff. So, I mean, part of the reason why this channel does so well, too, why Luke can Most people cannot do what Luke does. He does everything. He was doing everything. Luke was a game journalist um, and a game reviewer. And then he decided to, to, you know, do this channel for fun where he just played games for fun. But if Luke hadn't been a game journalist for all that time, then we wouldn't be able to do this. A lot of the hard work is from Luke. Um, Everything is from Luke. And, you know, most people cannot get people like Sega, Warner Brothers, and stuff to talk to them, no matter how many subscribers they have, because they don't know how to talk to these people. But Luke did. But after a while, it would be exhausting, because Luke wouldn't be able to get back to them. Then then these huge companies would feel snubbed and get mad at us, and then they wouldn't work with us again. So we needed a PR guy to just keep following up and answering emails all the time and keep getting back to people. And there's no way, like... You know, and so our PR guy, he he works for Chicken Feed to help us. And part of the reason why he does that is because he he believed in our our channel, and and also because we 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 originally hired him when he was between jobs. So, but I mean, we hired him based too on his hatred of maker studios like us. So, yeah, he actually had a website that was stolen from him yeah, by Ma Maker Studios. Maker Studios bought out his company. And we had money stolen from us from Maker Studios. Yep. yep. So we There was there was like a kindred spirit thing there. So, yeah. It yeah. was well, I don't know what I'm talking about, but basically like the kind of stuff that Luke 
Banana's gone. The, the kind of stuff like I don't know what I'm what I'm trying to say. I have no idea, but I was getting sleepy because I, we I don't even know what I'm talking about. But that, there's just so I was saying there's so much stuff behind the scenes that you have to do to keep a channel running that it never ends. Like the only way that it can end is if you find a niche where you find a game that is a hit every time and you just keep doing that game because you don't have time. You're so busy making videos for that game that you really don't have... It's really hard to do a channel where you do different games every week. Kirby Clash for another stream? Um, Kirby Clash is going to get a video, a preview video. Probably by tomorrow. We'll see. And I'm done. But, I'm sorry. Yeah, sorry, guys. I don't know where Ember was going I with that. I don't know what but... I was saying. I was saying there's a lot that you have to do behind the scenes. Okay. All right. So, anyway, people, thank you so much for watching <laughs> LEGO Jurassic Park 3. Uh... I appreciate everybody. Thank you so much for the super chats. Thanks for hanging out. K vlogs are going to be coming back this fall a couple times a month, showing you guys what games we're going to be playing. Just very short, like three minute videos that I'll shoot with my phone, just saying hi to you guys like I did like years ago. Nothing major, just updates about what games we're going to be playing, things like that. Um, when streams are going to happen, just very, very simple. But um, I hope you guys have a wonderful night. Enjoy your weekend. Tomorrow is DC Universe Online, the end of Amber Story. And uh, that'll probably go up in the afternoon. I don't know. I mean, I have some business I got to take care of tomorrow. I got to go to the bank and do some stuff. So probably won't be till the evening. And then, of course, there'll be another Lego Jurassic uh, Park stream tomorrow sometime. I don't know what time. You've got two episodes of Fire Emblem tomorrow. Another episode of Astral Chain and a Smash Brothers episode early in the morning. Um, you can look forward to that probably around 7 a.m. Something sorry. like that. I have no idea what I was talking about. I know. I I don't. <laughs> I lost my train of thought like so long ago. I don't even know what I'm you're talking still, about. You're still circling around my head and even Shadow doesn't understand it. I am so sorry to everyone who was listening to me. I have no clue what I was saying. All right. So if you guys want to head up to our Patreon, you totally can. Um, there'll be content on there eventually. And also, if you want to join the channel, that helps tremendously. Um, it goes into the actual income for the channel. It's it's not like something additional. It actually goes into helping improve our CPM, uh, helping improve like our status with YouTube. We're very thankful to the 30 of you that have been members and have joined the channel. Uh, we're going to come out with some cool I uh, perk ideas for that eventually, but it's just getting the time to do that. But everyone, thanks again for watching, and we'll see you with more LEGO Jurassic World tomorrow. Thanks again to Warner Brothers for providing a copy of this game, and have a wonderful night.